Yo. Look who it is. Look Your who boy's it is. back. On a Wednesday night, our favourite night of the week. All um, our viewers thought you were going to get something, mate. All the viewers thought there'd be a guest presenter. I, I, I couldn't take it, mate. I couldn't take it last week. The stream was so good, mate. Who, who was on last week? Joe. Mate, Joe, Joe was unreal, by the way. So I was just yeah, like, mate, yeah. I, I, I've got to come back. I'm going to lose my spot, mate. Yeah, it's it's just like in pro clubs. Out of the job, mate. Almost well, that's what I mean. Way. It's like pro clubs, mate. I weren't playing. And I, I saw him I saw him jump in. I was like, well, he's the, he's the boy. I've got, I've got to come take my place back. So I'm here, but I... A non-paying job. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, tonight is a is a crazy night. It's the first ever PCW Invitational Tournament, Domino. And effectively what that means is we have gone and hand-picked teams that we want to work with, teams that we've previously worked with, and chucked them all in this ridiculous tournament. Yeah. Literally for our own enjoyment. Mate, what, what what a draw it is. And I tell you what, this will be going down in folklore, 8 Ball. About the we first know. PC Dub Invitational. These teams are going to be hit a legendary set. It's going to be a Hall of Fame come five years' time. Do you remember <laughs> the teams that played in the... It, it'll, be, it'll be a pub quiz topic, 8 Ball. That's how big this is going to be. <laughs> I hope so, mate. I mean, we've, uh, <laughs> I mean, we've done something right. Um, so let's move across to dum dum dum. He says as he effortlessly moves through to the table and the fixtures and eventually the knockout game. Uh, Donna, let me just share this with you as well. Hit me up, some. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we've got six teams tonight. Uh, the teams are on the left hand side the fixtures are in the middle so we've got games at nine o'clock half nine and ten o'clock then we move into the knockouts uh, past that ten half ten time so it's mm. going to be a late one domino so I, I hope you've got permission to be out this late but <laughs> nope nope no me neither so uh, if we could <laughs> just wrap this up quickly no no penalties uh, no extra time yeah, uh, yeah, so that takes that us through to, to semi-finals and finals and so on and so forth. Winner gets a cheeky little 30 quid as well, so <laughs> not bad for a night's work. Mate, who's running that? I, I, I wasn't wearing this. Oh, I, but I've already, uh, I've already billed you for it, mate. Don't worry. Oh, that's how okay, cool. Let's go. Uh, so we can... Uh, I mean, I mean, everyone's called 15 minutes in, in some of the, the leagues before us, so we will have to play the old waiting game. However... Um, it does give us a chance to have a look at some of these teams that have gracefully accepted our invitation, Domino. Um, hey, the... Go on. I, I, I was, I'm just going to stop you there, mate, because I thought when you said everyone called 15, it just gave us a chance to. I thought you were going to introduce Marvel Racer, mate, again. I, 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 was, I was hyped. I'm sorry, mate. Uh, I feel like I've let you down there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first time, won't be the last. But no, about, absolutely not. No. Stay tuned if you want uh, more Domino Digs. <laughs> um, okay, so I think that we've, we've kind of earmarked some of the games, which we said off of stream we don't like to do because it's clubs. Nothing ever runs on schedule. However, we're going to do it anyway. And I'm going to try and highlight them. My Excel spreadsheet skills are... Uh, no, I've already... I, do you know what? I've taken, off, I've taken off the top bit. So I'll do it here anyway. So we've got the Dregs and Phoenix. Uh, mm. An English derby at 9 o'clock. That's what we're gunning for. And then at half 9, we're going to move over to Ultra Instinct, who are massive. Playing against Sheffield Wednesday, who are also massive. We can't miss that game. And then to finish off the group stages, we've got Vulcan and their academy team, the Vulcan yeah. Derby. That yeah. is a pretty good. It's not. It's not going to go that swimmingly because it, it never does. But that's what we're going for. Oh mate, you get some needle in the games. I remember when we were trying in back way back when when we owned a club. We done our first team. We got eleven ringers to play against us as a trialist, and the trialist beat our team. <laughs> Mate, yeah, yeah, never we forget sucked. it. Yeah, we <laughs> sucked. Never forget it. Mems is in the chat, Domino. So um, let's go. We know it's going to be a good stream now. So that's basically all we needed to kickstart things. 
Uh, Ruben supporting the dregs tonight. The dregs. Where are the dregs going to come, Domino? Because I'm looking at the league table and I can't call who's going to come in the top two. I can't call who's going to come in that bottom two. It's it's anyone's game, and I think that's Me. the beauty of it. Yeah, mate, it's a game on the night, man. We've covered pretty much every single person that's been on this channel. We we know how good Ultra Instinct is, mate. I, I, when I saw Fedex in there, I was like, Jesus Christ! Like we're big, we're, we're big names. I always believe yeah, teams like this. The whole Drake's game up, is and then like Sheffield Wednesday. It, I was like, hey, this this make is it as exclusive as possible. Okay, so I mean, that's what we're trying to do. Um, but also, it is teams that we've that we've worked with before so we kind of know what we're going to get um which is really good for us so on that note let's have a look at who's been good drop their stream link in let's have a look where some people are let's have a look first at phoenix hopefully they're in a lobby of some kind and not still there we go perfect um, so we will hold out for Phoenix versus Dregs, and it is Dregs are the only ones who haven't put their stream on. Because if it's a YouTube stream, that would be handy. Yeah, yeah. So who are we covering first game, Abel? Dregs versus Phoenix. Mate, that's Hopefully. a game. Time providing. <laughs> Because what we don't want to do is is wait 20 minutes playing Lobby Simulator when we could be watching something else. Yes, no, Get the it should be out. a great tournament. It, it really should. Um, we've 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 lots of experience now of running drafts and other stuff that we think we've got all of the bugs out of the way, shall we say? Yeah, I mean to be fair, I'm not gonna lie. Well. Because I, I never get to sit back and watch the stream. I'm normally in the stream. Mm -hmm. So when I watched it last time with Joe, mate, it's, you're not doing a bad job at production, Abel. Well, I tell you what, you're levering up. Your game's what? levering up. You're saying something positive about me. That's mad. I know. Do you know what? I, more about Joe. I like Joe. <laughs> me and Joe do a stream. I mean, I don't know how we get to this point. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, you're more than welcome to, mate. Not a problem whatsoever. <laughs> But, like, I, when I was watching it, mate, so I was watching it, and I, I, I did think it, mate, I, I could do it, obviously. I had... Literally, as he's in the middle of saying something nice, and he goes, you know for a fact he did that on purpose as well. 100% <laughs> did that on purpose. <sighs> you were saying, sorry, you were saying? Yeah, I was saying, Joe, Joe's a really cool cat, mate. I'm a big fan of him. He is a cool guy. Um, to be fair, it's, it's something we're it's something we're looking at doing as a channel, um, because we are not available seven days a week. Uh, most people like to think we are, but we're definitely not. So if we can share the load, we can share the love, um, and and help people realise their commentating dreams. Then we'd be foolish not to, Domino. Be foolish. Not oh, to. mate. But to be fair, it's good. I, I do have like we love having new personalities on the show. It, it does give us a bit of dynamics, and I, I actually was like sitting there thinking about our first ever invitational that we're doing today. And like Mem said, I just saw it in the chat, me like how quick the year's gone, and like us thinking about doing this for at the beginning when we started covering. This is like a pipe dream to get six really good teams on to jump into our invitational to give up their evenings to play games so we can commentate on watch and again for you the public that's watching it's mad mate um uh yeah mate it's been a good year and it's been Every, a good year and this everyone's is a, a winner to a good everyone's year. a winner i think that that's why we're trying to get to a point where everyone's a winner uh and speaking of winners domino let's have a look at this starting 11 for for phoenix because they've got some big time players in here hence the invitation um they have got fan favorite and now admin favorite uh sparta in net quality <laughs> player uh harky mad bad harky of baller build yes, fame mate. um to be fair most of these have actually got a baller build i can't lie um is that I'm just, 
Mate, I've literally, yep, yeah, Alfie Edge playing at left back. They've got no. uh, Tiki playing in centre mid. They've got Benny at right mid. Uh, and the Mac, another uh, PC dub admin playing up top. Somehow he snuck his way into this starting 11. Don't ask me how, <laughs> but he's going to be It's because you're on the channel, so. mate. It's because you're on the channel, that's it. All of a sudden, yeah, all of a sudden he can play. God. Um, <laughs> right. Let's have a look to see if Dregs are ready. Yeah. Their game's going into extra time. <laughs> Is anyone else ready? Ultra Instinct. I always know when Donald Trump does the uh, music in my head. I don't have Donald's sweet voice in my ear anymore. That's the problem. I, I just came back to hear Domino's sweet voice. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling a story. Uh, Mac, I don't look happy. Mate, I'm always happy. I'm always happy. Always, always, always happy. I, I just, I did say to you earlier on, Mac, that um, the draft we had last week went fine. When have I ever been able to say that? <laughs> so of course, of course, I'm happy. Yeah, I was happy anyway. It was a picture of joy. <laughs> um, let's check in on Ultra Instinct, shall we? <clears throat> Get their stream up. Uh, and our good friend over at Ultra Instinct who is streaming tonight is Mr. Hammerovich. <laughs> what a guy. Uh, they what play a guy. Singer as well by any chance. No, they're in. They're in. And they are against Vulcan Vulcan first team. They are indeed. So a massive test for Vulcan. Brand new team, Domino. Esports team. Let's get some crowd noise on as well while we're at it. Yeah. Um, April, if you wanna, <clears throat> if I wanna stay with this one, chuck you the link. I mean, to be fair, this was the good thing and about I'll, Joe. And I'll call when the next one's in. This was the good thing about Joe is he knows where the links are in the Discord. I'm just saying. Hey, I, 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 am I signed up to our Discord? Am I in there? Uh, well, unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> We're, all, we're in the exact same chats yet. I have to send you over absolutely everything. <laughs> uh, so we are, <laughs> we are live with Ultra Instinct and Vulcan. Vulcan, brand new sports team, uh, esports team. So big shout out to these guys. They are, they're going to be looking to be cooking next season, Domino. I think they're aiming to go high up in the league system. So nice. this, is a, this is a fantastic test for them. And I think they were a team that were one of the most excited about tonight. Yeah, to be fair, mate, it, it, like I said, it's a good acid good test for them. Here we it go. might Header be too much acid for Let's them. Let's go. <laughs> that is why they were so excited. Ultra Instinct, big finish. And the, this is the problem. They've got so many good players, so many good players that you just you need to be on your game at all time. Who's that, Vulcan? Or just an Ultra Instinct? Both. Uh, uh, Ultra Instinct are uh, just a massive oh, team mate. domino. They're some oh, of the mate, players they, they, they've got. Like, looking at the team and covering their games, mate, like I said, they're they're definitely a favourite. There's mm -hmm. no two ways about it, mate. They're, they're, they're always a great team. Really good outfit, and, really well organised the whole time. And you might recognise one of the players playing for Vulcan who might be touching the ball here. No, he's playing on the other flank. Um, Mr. Enganch. No, what's he doing? Yeah, don't know what <laughs> he's doing, he doing over there, mate. Don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Is he trialing? Who knows? He got sold, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, a couple of channel favourites in this Ultra Instinct team as well. Hammerovic being one of them on the ball now. Um, they've got Nazario up top, who is just such a dangerous player. And they've also got Raven in centre midfield as well, Domino. So, so eight ball, the Vulcan team, is yep. it a new, I know it's a newly formed team, mm -hmm. but is it like a subsidiary of like a team that was like half done or they've completely no, mate, like no, done like no. a brand new team? Brand new teams just come in. Um, and yeah, Plague Doctor, Prem and League One. So they Ooh, are, they are cool. aiming high. So 
this is going to be a good litmus test for them. Uh, yeah, so absolutely. Because you never, you rarely, rarely get new new teams. Normally, you'll get like a new team formed, but have a core member from another team. Come on, oh, he's giving the ball away a little bit sloppy there. Slots it, slots it comfortably. And then, to be fair, this is probably you. You may as well learn this in preseason now, mm -hmm. when you play these teams. Any single mistake gets punished. That is, that is it. That is probably the biggest learning curve. Yeah, yeah. It. To be fair, it's often a game. I'm always a pessimist at the best of times, but it's, it, it is a game of mistakes more than anything else. Limit the mistakes and obviously a better Period. chance to win. Enganch cut out by the hammer uh, and <laughs> Ultra Instinct are able to recycle it from the back to their danger man, their talisman Nazario. Happy to keep the ball for now in the last 10 minutes. Uh, at half time, Domo will switch back over to that all English derby. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on eight ball and, and it's still Phoenix. it's still not kicked off yet. Has it not? No, no, still not kicked off yet. Wow, lucky we didn't wait for that then. Uh, luckily, Vulcan <laughs> and Ultra Instinct are all over it. Maybe we won't go at half time. Maybe we'll stick with this. It's a prize. <laughs> um, Raven, uh, once off, Sociedad Fame swings it in to the back post. Jordy heads it out. A rare chance to break, but there is the hammer. Previously yeah. our winger, Domino, now playing wide centre back. And I he's one of those players where you just get the impression that he kind of knows what the attacker's gonna do because he used to play in that position himself. Oh mate, I I feel like I discovered him. I mean not that he's been playing pro clubs years before he came on our <laughs> draft, but I, I feel like I've discovered him. I feel like um, he, he set the world alight as my go to man. And look, 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 look at the fame he's got since then. What a guy. Couldn't wish anything better on a nicer individual. Yeah, yeah, good guy, good guy. And he's a standing, um, standing manager tonight as well. So, uh, oh, look, mate, just strength to strength. What is it? It's like seeing my child all grown up. Oh, dear, But you can't the give the ball away there. It's gone down. Oh, another stalwart of the PC Dub centre back union. Captain America, another baller bill guy. We're collecting baller bills up in this <laughs> tournament tonight. Uh, good tackle by Niche and Ultra Instinct. To be fair, they do well to come out of that that five minute spell. There, it's probably the the best spell we've seen Vulcan have, um, which might be promising for those guys because a two 0 down against, I'm probably going to say one of the on paper strongest teams if we're looking at league positions and whatnot. Yeah. Where they knew this was going to be a huge test, but that last five minutes I think will give them a bit of confidence going into the second half. Yeah, mate, I just think with a new team, and like I said, I don't know how well they've gelled, for example, or how many games they've played against each other, they have to rely more on, weirdly enough, instinct to play their game, because they don't have set routines, they don't know where the ball's going to drop into, again, the midfield position, who's going to be pulling the strings, they can have conversations about it, but like I said, when you start a game and things go awry, you're going to have to act on the fly. So this is all a big test learning curve for them. And to be fair, it's good that they can do it in an invitational here where they can test different things, test different positions, um, formations out. But yeah, we, we can see what an Ultra Instinct brings to the table. And in the, the first half that we watched, in my opinion, mate, they have been dominant. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm told that the dregs are going to send this over soon. Um, as and when that comes through, Domo, do you want to let me know? Uh, these guys yeah. are still sit on half time apparently, which yeah, is that's weird. fine. So I'm like I'm flicking between time. here and Phoenix, so I'll there we go. The, the, it's coming in now, so we'll stick with this. Let's get the music back on whilst Ooh. we go through lobby simulator. <laughs> Let me share this with you as well. Do you see the goal eight ball? No, I missed the goal. I'm I'm back on Dregs now. That's are you the... back on Dregs? Vulcan has just gone eight ball. <sighs> They're going to kill me for that. They are going to kill me. 2-1. 2-1. We'll, save it. we'll save it for the Vulcan Derby. We'll save it for the Vulcan Derby. <laughs> Guys, this is why we need multiple commentators. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to yeah, say. So I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to half stay with this one and obviously commentate on that one. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull both out eight ball. So I'm going to have them simultaneously. I like that. I like that. If only you were cross-eyed, you could watch one game at a time. <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, I mean, we obviously we focused a lot on on Phoenix going into this mainly because they had the lobby simulator up and the team sheet up ready mm -hmm. to go. Um, but the Dregs, again, featured on the channel before, they are a very very good side as well, a very experienced side, and this one's going to be an absolute banger, I think. Yeah, mate, absolutely. And to be fair, with the Phoenix formation, I mean, they're playing with a flat back. Oh, they're playing with a flat back four at Alfie Edge. They are playing with a yep. flat back four, aren't yep. they? Mm -hmm. Which is quite different because you know it's not not the usual anymore, is it? Well, apparently not. No, it was back in our day, Domino. But oh, mate, much. yeah, we, we wouldn't try anything different. Uh, so the dregs in the white from left to right, and their counterparts this evening are Phoenix in the black, fresh from both these teams actually fresh from uh, VFL midweek cup action. Hence the late kickoff. Nice. Um, but at least we get to watch the whole thing now and we got to watch some of the Vulcan game as well so a little taster of what's to come later on uh, as Fenix Tiki goes over the top finds AD who is onside first time pass through to the oh the dangerous Eightful. Fenix Eightful. Benny is such a dangerous man you would expect him to put that away mate the confidence to play that ball across the floor first of all and the yep. weight of passing to beat the defender because the defender's position was absolutely fantastic nothing you could do he had to stay mm. on that side and he had to try and cut out that ball. But the weight on that ball, mate, to drift it into the striker's path, that's exceptional. Who played that ball? Because I need to know. I need to find that man. This is this is what Phoenix do. They've got so many good ball players that any one of them, you know, even twins in the centre mid, they've got Tiki, they've got Kev. Uh, they've now got the Mac, who's definitely the weak point. Uh, <laughs> PC Dubs admin Mac. Uh, played yeah. up top for these guys tonight, but you know, he compliments them well. They're just a very dangerous team, but let's see what they can do defensively. As Dregs break into the box, wow! <laughs> that had some swaz on it, and even a top goalkeeper like Sparta there, I don't think he expected that. He'll claim no, he mate, had it covered. It, well, we, it's, it's a break of norm, mate. Well, with me, you, Sparta, and everyone else are thinking he has to whip that across. Yeah. There's no 100%. angle to shoot there. Sparta's obviously... A, he, he, he's on his toes, but mate, that whistle pass. I, I like it, mate. I like I like the thought process. I like the yeah. ingenuity. A chance, there. <laughs> a chance each for both of these teams early on. Good chances each. What we expected, um, both teams to come out the traps flying, especially as we waited so long for this. But it was worth mm. the wait. Uh, Benny takes on his man, cuts it back to the edge of the box. Two twins stabs it into the back post. It's headed away by the skipper privateer. AD's gone walkabouts into the stand and left midfield, so just keep an eye on that one. Uh, Pooley's in the chat. Evening, lads. How's it going, Pooley? It's always good to hear from you, mate. Uh, hope guy. you're doing well. Uh, Plague Doctor, we've got an update on the Vulcan Academy. A 1 0 up against Sheffield Wednesday, Domino. Half time. Ooh, the Academy boys. Yeah. Coming up with it. Um, mate, what a turn up for the books and the Academy team come and win this invitation. Imagine that. They'll be, look they're, mate, they'll be looking forward, I think to that last game more than the actual team will. 100%, yeah, I mean, 100%. That they could lose every single game and win the last one and still come out as heroes. <laughs> Fact. Fact. La last goal wins eight ball. Yeah, yeah. And that's a good point, actually. That does remind me, when we get into the knockout stages, if it is a draw, this is the beauty of it, Dominic. I mean, we now know the rules. We actually know what we're doing. Stages. I mean, I don't, but you do. <laughs> it's, wait, we chose golden goal. It's golden goal. <laughs> old school golden goal uh and is yeah, it actually golden goal yes mate yeah oh my jesus mate I, I, that we're showing our age but i love it yeah we want to see some goal if you're old enough you remember silver goal as well mate i don't even remember silver goal no exactly <laughs> <laughs> it says a lot about how old i am uh benny is my sevilla broski um mems cooking with sevilla that's some dangerous dangerous stuff going on there that's jack hannah's lot isn't it they've got a good team very good team and if he's on side here that has Ooh. to be yeah i was gonna say yeah it had to be offside yeah um so it'd be good to do a score scores around the doors that that would be handy yeah um, i was just i'm here? just checking on the vulcan game and they yeah, had a corner on the vulcan, vulcan got a corner on the 80th minute um but they've just defended it really well under under instincts are not under the cost but they've just given away a dangerous free kick and obviously had the corner so there is a little bit of spice in that vulcan's still not out with this one I like that. I like that. They've newly formed rivals. Created on PC <laughs> Dubs Invitational. Uh, Tiki into Mac. Takes a deflection. The Doctor turns it round. 
four from Mate, Warner. He got, he got down quickly there. He did, yeah, he did. Good reactions. Um, definitely seeing a pattern with these corners from Phoenix aiming for big, bad Arky, which, to be fair, is a pretty good tactic. Um, and the blue for Phoenix, I don't know who it is. <laughs> I th it, it, is it Mac? I hope it's Mac. <laughs> <laughs> He is catching some strays, I can't lie. Uh, yeah. Ten minutes left till half time. Um, I think Plague Doctor's on it with the Academy score, so if you can keep us updated on that one as well in the chat, that would be perfect. Oh, look we've at got that. all bases covered. Yeah, it's soft Saturday. We've got a minute left on the Vulcan game, eight ball, and it does look like Ultra Instinct are going to see this out. They've actually just taken it to the corner. <laughs> wow. And they have eight ball there, they've seen this one out. Plague Doctors confirmed it is 2-1 to Ultra Instinct in that first game. And yep. from what I'm hearing, Domino, I, you know, they, they did get a loss in the first game. There's still two more left at a minimum. Mm -hmm. I don't think they'll be too disheartened by that. I know a loss is a loss, but you know they've come out and conceded two early goals, but won the second half and arguably could have got something out of it. So, yeah. I think they'll yeah. solace Look, in that. I mean, to be fair, they're a newly formed team and you're playing against an established team that yeah. is probably one of the best in this tournament. And they've gone out and they're in touching distance of getting something out of the game. You've got to take the positives out of things like that and not let the negatives worry you too much. You've got to learn from Mabel, but you've got to take the positives out. I mean, this game here, eight ball, um, Fenix are really controlling it and showing some great possession. Dregs are coming back into it a little bit more now. The, the, the second part of this half... Dregs have started to open up a little bit more, get possession. They, if I'm honest, Dregs won't want half time to come there. No, no, I agree. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday nil, Vulcan Academy two. <laughs> Can we go and catch the back end of that? Because right. there should Link me, be. <laughs> Link me, I'll have it back be. in. No, you go and find it. No, you go. I, and find I, it. If you ask me to go find it, I won't. Be, I, I, I won't find it. <laughs> I'll actually come off the stream and be on something else. I'll be on someone else's stream. Uh, right. I mean, they're in the... Oh, I've chosen the wrong one. No, that's my bad. Ignore what I'm about to send you then. <laughs> no, I've messed that one up big time because I've come off the screen. Domino, to be fair, that is kind of your fault. I mean, I understand that, mate. And also, in my defence, we've got two teams called Vulcan, so it's easily done. It does explain why they're in the lobby, though. Right, can we see... We've got five minutes. We've got the last five minutes of the game for Vulcan Academy, and someone's just made a world-class save. Um, it looks like it's Vulcan Academy, actually, looking to uh, looking to add to that scoreline. Five minutes left. Swings it in. Wilkinson picks it up. And it's now or never for Sheffield Wednesday. Um, to be fair, and again, no disrespect to to Vulcan Academy, but if you're in a tournament and you see the name Academy, here we go, Sheffield Wednesday, big save, Kyle D. Why have they got that man in goal? He should not be anywhere near an Academy. What a that man is <laughs> for any team. He's a very, very good goalkeeper. Uh, they've done well there. That might explain if that's the kind of caliber uh, these boys have got in. But yeah, I think if you're in a tournament, Domino, and you see the name Academy next to any team, like surely you've got to think. Oh yeah, absolutely, eight ball. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that's that's my bagger. That's my three points there. That's my that's my rest rest the good individuals. <laughs> Save your yeah. legs. Yeah, and a massive win. I mean, we we caught we caught the end of it, which was great. Uh, confirmation of the two 0 win. Um, back to what is supposed to be the featured nine o'clock game, Domino. It's the only game that hasn't had a goal in. Um, it's the only so game that course, didn't start at nine o'clock as well. Of course, <laughs> yeah, of course <laughs> it would be the one we didn't pick. Um, Gaz Keenan apparently is the one to watch for the academy. Ooh, uh, I like that. Look at that. We've got chat. statisticians in the, in the chat as well. I like it. I like this. Is that a think you know tank? I, I recognise the name as well. He must have. He's appeared somewhere, either on the channel or in a draft. He may have been a captain in a draft. Yeah. 
and now he's now he's skipper at Vulcan Academy. So it's it's Pro Clubs Weekly. It's it's a gateway to uh, gateway to bigger and better oh things. My. Speaking of bigger and better things. Oh my! The disrespect there, Abel. That's the a sassy finish. There. That is a sassy finish. Abel. Uh, one nil to Dregs uh, in the Abel. English Derby. Abel. That is, that is a sassy finish, I'm not going to lie. If I was betting, it is a derby game. It is an English derby game. Yeah. And yeah, if someone sure. is styling on me like that, I need to get one back, mate. I'm not going to lie to you. That's, yeah. That's, and yeah. you can imagine, but, you can imagine, like, how many times these two teams have played each other over the years. Yes. That's why we, we call these types of games derbies. The teams that have been knocking around for a little bit longer. The teams that play in the same domestic leagues, in and around the same European leagues, etc. Mm -hmm. um, so again, a bit, a bit like Pro Clubs Weekly Legacy. There's, there's friendly rivals, not no friendly rivals. Yeah, it's all friendly rivals, isn't it? <laughs> Hamrovic is in the chat. Hammer, how is your your Spanish team going? And I mentioned earlier that Hammer is the he's the makeshift manager for tonight, and he nominated himself because he's the only person who speaks English. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, to I be like fair, it. that does make sense. <laughs> Uh, here is Benny looking to do something about this. Cuts it back, but maybe a bit too far back for what he likes. Dreg's got a chance to counterattack now. Oh, I think this is something we're probably going to see a bit more of, Domino, as this game gets later and later in. Is uh, Phoenix pressing and Dreg's hitting them on the counterattack? Yeah, I mean, if I was Phoenix, would I be? Well, I feel hard done by the other goal. Probably, I think the majority of the game, Phoenix have maybe looked the better team. But look, there's only one stat that matters, and that's that stat in the top left-hand corner, eight ball, um, mm -hmm. showing one goal to the good. Um, yeah, it is now dregs. They've got to try and hold what they've got and try to hurt them when they can. But it's not an easy thing keeping up this Phoenix side. But dregs are have done, well, have done it for the last 71 minutes. Yeah. Absolutely, they look good value for it as well. Good defender there as well because they were streaming forward, were Phoenix. Uh, and you know this Phoenix front five are, are good. That's a good ball as well, speaking of good. And first time shot, top bins domino. That might be game set and match. <laughs> I mean, we know it's got to be good to beat Sparta and it, that was very good. Mate, the first goal, the finish was sassy. There was nothing sassy about that. It's got a lot <laughs> colder in this booth, eight ball, because that, that was freezing. And yeah, just like that, Dregs, you know, as we were talking about Phoenix and them being so dangerous on the attack, uh, Dregs hit back with one of their own, and what a big finish that was as well. Really, really good finish. Top bins, 15 minutes left for Phoenix to do something about it. However, Dregs have come to ruin this party for Phoenix. Cuts onto the right foot. Ooh, that is hitting. close. That yeah, is got, they've got close. The, they've got the lip that, gloss out of that. That would have been lights out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they, they have grown into this game really, really well. Obviously, FedEx do have to throw what they can at it. They're going to leave yeah. opposition positions open. I think that might be offside. No, fair enough. Red as he does really well, comes out with the ball as well, gives it to his skipper, and they're, they're moving the ball nicely. Moving yep. the ball very, very nicely. The ball of a Todd, and that would have been close, Domino. Yeah, mate, I don't think that was too bad. Um, hey, but what game have we got next on? Because I've, I've got the um, Ultra Instinct in the background here. Ultra nil, nil, Instinct seven minutes gone. are playing Sheffield Wednesday. They are, they are. I don't know which is the next featured game on the channel. That but is, got that's supposed the... to be the next featured game. Yeah, we'll is move it? to that one. Yeah, it is. It's like you knew. Uh, Ball over the top from Kavsu, who's had a very good game. Oh, and my. Nemcha. And he's the Eight. man who, who buried at top bins. Harky has just full on assaulted Mate. him. No, that was an unbelievable tackle. <laughs> I mean, that was unbelievable. Got, yeah, he got away with it, but also that's I feel like there that was personal as well for scoring that goal. Uh, <laughs> but here comes the goal scorer again. Not carrying an injury, and Harky does him again. Um, yeah. It's 2 0 to Harky, but also it's 2 0 to Dreg. So <laughs> swings and roundabouts. The ball comes through to the goal scorer, tries it, awful red time, and that might actually be a goal kick. Yeah, I, I did see the red time eight ball, and I, I, I genuinely thought you can't direct it to go that far wide, so I thought it got a deflection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's obviously been watching me. <laughs> <laughs> 
of Phoenix. Time is running out, as Muse once said. They've got to do something now. Twins, that's not it. And Carvzu, who's a very good player, by the way, Domino, definitely one to watch in this tournament, especially if Dregs can get another win under their belt in the next couple of games. They will go on mm. to the semi-final, and we get to watch him some more. Ball over the top. Privateer into the goal scorer, but there's Harky again. That is given away to Robertson, gets the shot off, blocked. Rome goes near post, red timed again, and yeah, we'll we'll switch over now, Domino, to Ultra Instinct. Let me find the link. Actually, I'll. Um, I'll Go with you in. <laughs> no, I don't. No, absolutely not. I, I wouldn't set. even know how to send it, Abel. I wouldn't even know how to send it. I, I've got it up in front of me. <laughs> We're all happy over here. This is what I'm working with, ladies and gentlemen. If people wonder why I get new people in to come and commentate with me, so they don't because have to handhold. They could do it. They could do it a lot better, and they haven't been doing this for a whole year. <laughs> a lot better, a lot cheaper as well. Uh, right, straight back in. Crowd noise on. Let's go. Uh, Hamarovic, something to be desired about this uh, camera angle, my friend. Yeah. Um, if you go onto the other stream, uh, it's the it's a better camera angle. Yeah, this is a bit low. We'll be having words in the DM. If you go over to Drake's um, really impressed you in the second half, man. One hundred percent, mate. One hundred percent. Yeah. I think I, I don't know. It, it's it's difficult to say, isn't it? The, the Phoenix team looked strong on paper, but we I, you just know Dregs are a good team. Like everyone knows. Yeah. Dregs are a good uh, team. Look, 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 look. Dregs, Dregs are that kind of team. That will have to suss you out. Like as long as they can keep it like nil nil within the first like twenty minutes, they'll grow into the game really well. They always have been. Uh, Phoenix is is a team that will come out and hurt you from the beginning. If yeah. you can stop that and kind of suss them out and stop their free flowing game, which Dreg's done. Oh, we've lost it. Stop. There it is. Slotted away. Sorry, Domino, to cut you off. Given away by our one of our favourite centre backs, Domino. We will pretend we didn't see that Captain America. In fact, I won't even name and shame him. I'll pretend like it was someone else. Caught in possession, and Sheffield Wednesday get their first goal of the PC Dubs Invitational. Puts them 1-0 up against probably the early favourites. Yeah, eight, April, that was a... There's gifts, and there's gifts with a bow wrapped on it, and that was a gift <laughs> with a bow, mate, I tell you. You, you couldn't do it. He, he, not only did he give the ball away, unfortunately, he did try and turn clever. It didn't come off, but... The keeper was out of position because obviously he didn't think the ball was going yeah, away. Yeah. So it's not like he had the keeper to beat either. It was, yeah, you, you're not going to get an easy goal all night. So take it when you get it. Absolutely. And here comes Goat30. Squares it to the skipper, GB. Raven comes out with it. Gives it to the dangerous Nazario. But he'll want the ball a lot further up the pitch than that. Uh, that being said, gives off a nice ball to not Alvarez's strike partner. Raven picks it up. Gives it to Trasgul. Cuts it back nicely, fur into the back post. Knocked down to the danger man. That's a big tackle. Big, big tackle. Eight ball. We, we say this time and time again on the channel. Now, I'm, I'm never going to comment on how Ultra, Ultra Instinct wants to play, but there's two or three times they had the opportunity to pull the trigger there. With mm -hmm. men in the box, they could slip around the rebounds. They looked for the perfect goal, and to be fair, the build-up play was lovely. There was just a shame on not pulling the trigger on any of those. Yeah. Yeah, two important uh, interceptions there by Nige, but there is a there is a mystery free kick. So let's see what Sheffield Wednesday can cook from this. Uh, in the white, lays it off, lays it off again. Uh, I think that was too <laughs> many lays off. Uh, they can't find strikers' feet though. Well played though by the centre half for Sheffield Wednesday. Recycled nicely. Then they'll be looking to bounce back from that first uh, first game defeat against the Balkan Academy. Yeah, they've got something to hold on to here, Abel. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think that's where you want to be against a team like Ultra Instinct, because um, we saw the damage that they can cause in the first game. Speaking of which, top bin <laughs> Domino, and just before half time as well, a gut punch for Shepherd Wednesday, who were looking good before them. Abel, Abel. It was a 50-50 game, mate. And after, obviously, Sheffield Wednesday did lose to, I will say loosely, an academy team. Because that is very, very loosely. Um, oh, oh. Speaking of loose. Yeah. 
Let's give them one away here. Let wise. me just finish that point until we can commentate on here. And they are knocking around Ooh. nicely. What, what a header that is. Man, that was, that was a bullet header. Ooh, half time. Half time. Let's get these camera angles switched over. Um, yeah. I'll put our beautiful faces up for now. Uh, Sheffield cool. Wednesday. Yeah, stream. if you go into the you? Sheffield Wednesday one, they've got the their camera angles quite good. And I'm just on the Phoenix one as well, mate. And we've just kicked off here as well. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. What's our third streak? Like... So we've got the Phoenix first. Who's Phoenix first in this time? I mean, you've got the stream there. You tell me, bro. I mean, we'll, we'll go and have a look to see. Oh, look at this. A big shout out to our admin team as well. Let me just quickly share this screen whilst I'm in between streams. Um, What's admin team say? <laughs> the admin team, whose job it is tonight to fill in all the results and the league table. It's so beautiful. So I'm not going to share it to you because I know you can't see it right yeah, now. Yeah, you need you to. Could you, have, you could have at least pretended. Up. It's so beautiful. Oh, oh look at that. Look at the there admin team. There it is. Dreg's top. Followed by Vulcan Academy and Ultra Instincts, uh, not including the games as they're going on right now. Um, but to answer your question, Domino, Vulcan Academy are taking on the Dregs. It's Phoenix versus Vulcan, so that's probably a good game to look out for as well. Oh my, Vulcan just gone 1 0 up, 8 ball. Like I said, good game to look out for. Um, we're going to head back <laughs> to Ultra Instincts and Sheffield Wednesday. He says, Let me just talk to you about the um, Vulcan goal, though, 8 ball. Ball came over the top. Keeper came out, slightly mistimed it, might have been a little bit of an error. Player headed it down, mate, took it around the keeper. Comfortable finish. Eight ball. We are one nil to the Vulcan with Fenix all to do. That's huge as well. That's that's a huge result for, for Vulcan mm -hmm. if they can do that. Which uh, effectively would probably put Phoenix out of the out of the tournament. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the good thing with the good thing, the only good thing for Phoenix is they've got a lot of time to get this one back. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Say it a lot on this channel. If you're going to concede, it might as well be in the first few minutes, um, mm -hmm. like our team does every week, Domino. <laughs> every single week, <laughs> mate. Every single week. Um, and this game's on a knife edge at the moment. Uh, it is one-one. Sheffield Wednesday losing their first game. Ultra Instinct winning their first game. Um, and this front. Oh, One, mate, that's an unbelievable save, Abel. Four uh, Ultra Instinct are potent, but that's a huge save. That's an unbelievable save. That is an unbelievable save. Head the way nicely. And here we go. What can Sheffield Wednesday get cooking on the counter attack? Ultra Instinct have left men back. Hammer is the manager who plays centre half, so you would expect them to be well organised. Mm -hmm. uh, and well organised, they certainly are. Plague Doctors <laughs> on it with the scores today. Play doctor, do you need do you need a job? Because uh, <laughs> uh, we could we could always use more hands and bodies around here. Uh, it, 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 job, it, it is wait before Abel goes across this is a voluntary position. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else gets paid apart from Domino. We just so have the we don't have the balls to tell him. <laughs> I just do it for uh, the love of you guys. To be fair, that was a that was actually a big chance. Really, yeah. really big chance at the back post there for Sheffield Wednesday. I think they'll be disappointed with that one. Uh, ultra yeah, because you know looking... how the games is going to go eight ball. Sheffield Wednesday will get their chances will be few and far between. So yeah. when they come up, they need to take them. No, uh, spot on. And don't forget, their their goal did come from um, that dispossession from their centre back mm -hmm. from their own goal kick. So uh, good press, but not of their own doing per se. Um, as Ultra Instinct say, anywhere will do. 63rd minute it's anyone's game at the moment to be fair it's it's it is on a knife edge it's poised mm -hmm. for for a winner i'm not gonna lie it's just which way is it gonna go and that's the second time ultra instinct have just hammered the ball uh, into the stands <laughs> plague doctor says you'll happily discuss Adzinho <laughs> <laughs> um, gives it back to the goat who's having a good game he's got the feet that's for sure and Sil Mill as well. I'm sorry, I missed your I missed your message from before. It's when I was messing around with cameras and stuff. Um, one of the best fake centre backs I've ever seen with that Vidic build. Um, <laughs> anyone who's struggling for centre backs, go and hit that man up. Even though I know he doesn't want to play there. <laughs> he tried being less good there. Ultra Instinct 
playing around with it on the edge of the box. It's chipped and tickled through, but it's repelled. But they've still got it on this right hand side. You can really yeah, I mean, tell. To be fair, these... Ultra Instincts are starting to get a bit more of a foothold in this game. Coming out in the second half, it has been very, very 50 50 in my opinion. But Ultra Instincts are just slowly starting dominating position, uh, winning the ball back uh, high and early. However, however, playing a it is a three now. versus two situation. Decision making needs to be great. And it is a great save slash hit the bar eight ball. I think it was a save, but it was a weird save that goes back across him for some reason, because why not <laughs> physics? Um, the GOAT again, who's having a fantastic game. Sterling, they're queuing up to have shots here. Uh, again, Niche says anywhere will do. And yeah, the GOAT breaking into the box there, Dom. It was a power shot. He was allowed the time and space. But the Ultra Instinct goalkeeper there makes a fantastic save. And... Shepard Wednesday almost got lucky with the rebound as well. We love a rebound goal on this channel. Yeah. I mean, someone in the chat needs to tell me how um, the academy is getting on against the dregs. Plague Doctor, you're up, my friend. Plague Doctor, talk to me. <laughs> talk to me. Plague Doctor also said that. piece is live. We, we just collect, uh, collect centre-backs and goalkeepers on this channel. It's all we're good for. You're either a centre back or a goalkeeper if you're in the PCW Discord. So play Doctor, you'll fit in nicely. Uh, <laughs> Ten minutes. There's got to be a winner because I said there was going to be twenty minutes ago. You'll play Doctor in the chat. Thank you very much. <laughs> clearly, never wrong. V Seven Academy and Dregs just kicked off. No worries. It, oh, he's lost it again. It's the hammer. Oh, what a block by Captain America Domino. I think he has now repaid them. For giving that ball away because that's a that's as good as a goal that that goal right oh, there. So. That was unbelievable. That was absolutely unbelievable. The and he dug his old instinct well. in this in this game. Eight ball uh, makers their own downfall at the minute. I'm not going to yeah. lie to you. It just they just need to tighten up at the back there and they are through again. That's oh my that's big Captain penalty. America! But Captain America made the block. Did there ever foul before that? There was yeah. Oh, they, my they were like three of them on him. Drogba with the penalty. It's going down the middle, isn't it? Because it's a pressure penalty. Five oh, minutes it's a pressure left. Penalty. The PC Invitational. Tobbins. Wow. This is one for the books. I think you would have got good money on this one, Domino. 2-1 to you... Sheffield Wednesday. The Wednesdays, mate, are upsetting the apple cart. Status I mean, quo has been thrown out the window. This is the perfect response to go in that Oh my days, what on earth? I hadn't even finished the audio clip from the last goal. So they get two. Two a piece. They're just so dangerous. They're such a dangerous team. They're, every time happens. Wednesday have scored, they've just come and counted it straight away, and then Wednesday have just been like shutting up shut. I don't mate. I, oh oh no, my oh no. Oh. oh the sweat's on. Oh he's gone near post as well. There's too many sound clips going on, Dom. I can't keep up with this I Ultra just... Instinct team. And this is why you would have got good money on Sheffield Wednesday winning. <laughs> April, after the penalty went in, I was like, the game's done. Where are we going next? If we... <laughs> April, two goals back in the space of <laughs> five virtual minutes in gameplay. Five seconds. Oh, God. Imagine if they went and snuck an equaliser here. We'd be looking at game of the night easily. They need to put it straight back in. It's not going to happen. Wow. I mean, I feel like we were owed for that first half where it was nil-nil. And we were treated in the second half. So thank you very much for that. Mate. Mate. Um, admins behind the scenes. Get that one down. Three, <laughs> two. Big, big game. Let's put our faces on the screen uh is there a recovery channel to help me recover from the season i just had domino that's mems oh yeah <laughs> do you know what me me, me and eight will speak a lot and i swear it's got 20 percent about mems <laughs> just, yeah. eight will just like have you seen mems result and he's like mate i know mate i know and we know how good mems are mate we, we love the mems boys up in pc dub land yeah, yeah, just mate, it's one to forget. It's one to forget, but just oh my eight ball, I've got the Phoenix. Um, no, I'm coming. I'm coming. Vulcan game on, and Phoenix had a chance there to equalise one on one. I would say slight angle. Oh my god, keepers giving it away, and they've equalised. And it's eight a goal. It is one <laughs> one. Tuned in and... right at the right time. Oh, I've got the screen up. Oh guys, I'm sorry. I've got I've got our faces up instead. 
<laughs> you want to see my reaction in HD? That's <laughs> what more could you possibly want? Eight ball, um, eight ball. He's, they, they, let me just talk you through it. They squandered a golden opportunity. It actually, was a great. It was not a great save. He missed the he missed the target, but he needed to go top bin to keep his position was excellent. And then the keeper gave it the centre half. I don't know if it was a lag or the centre half fell asleep, and they've just given it away, mate. It, it was Ooh. actually reminiscent of the Wednesday goal against Ultra Instinct. Well, we I, I personally I tuned in just as they scored, and it was a sweat, so he didn't miss too much at home. <laughs> but I did think it was on the screen. Uh, here's Engage. Do we boo him? I don't know. I don't know what no, our position. We never what's our Gansh, official mate. position? No, 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 no. Never talk bad about that man. <laughs> Captain America's in the chat. <laughs> My bad for the first goal. We can see that. <laughs> Captain America, we didn't see. It, I promise. <laughs> yeah, we we blamed it on someone else. Don't worry. The yeah. the the goal line block to save your to save your skipper after more than made up for it. Don't worry. Yeah. Mate, uh, Abel was cussing you out the whole time. Check, check the stream. <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. Um, and yeah, don't think I didn't see the Matt get that assist, by the way, uh, for Ooh. that Phoenix goal. And to be fair to Phoenix, they could probably do with another goal here. Um, yeah. One point from two. I don't think they'll be happy with Ooh. and tipped round by Visor. Great stop from the Mac. Like early corner. Oh, centre back nearly and centre out, back. Nearly worked out. Yeah, those, those cheeky early corners are potent because it doesn't give the opposition a, a chance to mark those big men and the knockdowns are OP. Mm, absolutely, eight ball. Uh, here come Vulcan. Have Headed we got an update pack. on the Academy first Dregs game yet? Where's my, where's my manager? Oh my god, he's touching down. Look at the okay. Mac. The gazelle like feet multiple touches and multiple people to choose from and if he'd gone down yeah, there he, uh, Dominic, I think that might have been I, I think the striker weren't expecting the second pass back to him he didn't sort his feet out and again he went the wrong way which is unfortunate no. just too Spot many on. chefs on that attack but made that touch by the map yeah gazelle uh, the, the, the touch and the back heel was very oh nice and here's Tiki boom oh just my. like that 2-1, a complete and utter turnaround for Phoenix in this second half. And if they can hold on, it will be their first three points of the night going into the third and final group game. Uh, Hamrovic, um, skipper for Ultra Instinct, says they just needed some drama in that last game. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. They've they, they, they done it for the channel. I respect them. Respect Hammer. Helping the boys out. Uh, B7 Academy nil nil with dregs at half time, which is why we haven't obviously chosen that game, Domino. Oh, he's giving the ball away here. Oh, they did have a good opportunity there to counter. Here we go. But now Shu is on the other foot, and Phoenix has come flying forward. They've got a man all the way on this side. Great position by the RCB. But I mean, I mean, Phoenix are winning the ball back quickly. As soon as they lose mm -hmm. it, it's first man pressing. I mean, right, hear me out, Domino, because I'm just trying right. to think of scenarios here. So, Vulcan also lost the first game, and we're yeah. ahead in this game. Mm -hmm. And now, if they do go on to lose this, they've then got to play their academy, who are currently on four points. <laughs> <laughs> do the academy, a bit like an F1 Constructors Championship, <laughs> do they allow their, their, their team to win? Or, I don't know, I mean... You guys I, let I'm, me know I'm not going to lie to you. Let if it was mine and eight ball situation and we were in the top table and we had the academy team set playing and they went out and did beat us, I, I don't think they're going to get in the team next season. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, dangerous precedent. Uh, unconditional love, Mems. Always, mate. Absolutely always. Safe place, this. Safe place. Always. What a reverse pass that is. Ooh. Mac with the snapshot. Big save again from Visor. He likes this near post. Early one again. Looking for Mad Oh, that's Harvey. nice football, eight ball. That is a nice football. He's done his way to turn himself out of trouble, playing nice little reverse the inside. Look Let's how see many what... men are back as well for for Phoenix. Yeah. Uh, Guntanar gives it to Ailey. It's a pen. Oh it's my pen. god, it's a penalty. It's a pen. He, he clipped him. He, cl he clipped that, the back legs, eight ball. That is an absolute lifeline for Vulcan because they they need. They need That's a pressure a point pen at the very least. That's a pressure pressure pen. Where are you going to go? That man watches go? the channel. 
Oof. Oof. There's a lot Eight of drama four. happening so far, and I'm here there for is. it. Oh my. It. Oh my Christ. <laughs> that was assault, to be fair. Yeah, he's bringing <laughs> it back. That That's was GBA. on a gadget as well, GBA. so allow it. Like, to make that tackle? No, it was on him. <laughs> oh my gee, who, who is that? Because they might have to be banned from this, this stream. <laughs> oh, it's Alfie Edge. Oh, what a surprise. Oh, of course it was Alfie booked. Edge. Who else would it be? <laughs> uh, here's Benny onto the edge of the box. Two twins. Oh, how many saves has Visor made at that left hand post? The corner, though, they're not out of the woods. Well played. Well played by that man. And. That's going to be it, apparently. There's no yeah, time for the counter-attack. That, that's just it. The draw. The draw. Which, from probably what we saw, may have been a fair result. Yeah, to be fair, it was, it was a 50... I, I do think Fenix probably had the better spell of possession. Um, but, yeah, I, I couldn't call much other than that between them. Both had chances. Both had chances to win the game. Yeah, uh, I'd, I'd call it a draw, April. I'd call it a draw. Okay, well, let's go straight into... Vulcan Academy are 1-0 up against Dregs. Domino, do you Ooh. need the link or have you got the big boy pants on? No, mate, give me the link. Ah. Find me. Find me and set him in. So we've got the academy yeah. in the blue, and we're still two two in the Phoenix first Vulcan oh, game as well. I mean, Phoenix game's over, but yeah. Why is that still playing? <laughs> I don't know, mate. Maybe oh, you just man. don't want it to be over. And we'll go and have a look at some of the scores and the table after this, going into the last games of the night, which apparently are two minutes away. I'll believe it when I see it. Lots of late games on today, and the Dregs goalkeeper has given that away. Slots it through to Chicken Big Mac, and just like that, the Academy team are two goals up. And that's going to be two wins from two. Uh, Captain America, you are right to query this camera angle, I can't lie. <laughs> I mean, I have some questions myself, but... We've seen some dodgy camera angles tonight. Um, this is how I recognise this. This is Gaz's, I think. That's how I know it's him, because I, re <laughs> I remember his camera angle. Um, I mean, they've got 25 minutes to hold on. And to be fair, they look like they're going for it, because it's 5v4 here. What a ball that is, by the way. Hot oh, he's got to do it. Oh, he's got to do it. it out. He, he's it's got to do it. It's going to be a red, isn't it? It's going to be he's a red, do it. surely. you got to do it. Yeah, you got to do it. Yeah, it's a red. Dregs down to 10 men. Don't know. I don't think we've got any rules about red cards and missing. I mean, the, at least the, the pit bull lived up to his name. <laughs> Um, no, red, red cards, there are no rulings on red cards. We should have some funny ones, actually. <laughs> oh my Christ. Double jeopardy, I mean, that is. That is this, jeopardy. this is the team to beat now, right? That's double jeopardy. Mate. Double jeopardy. <laughs> has, has, um... Ultra Instinct won both of those, yeah. No, have, um... Yeah, Ultra Instinct played Vulcan Academy. No. Ooh. It was there the because there's because there's six teams you should play five games but five games in one night when we're starting at nine o'clock is hard work. Yeah, yeah. So fair, we fair, just fair, randomized fair. them. First three teams you play. To be fair, I, I think a lot of them. I'm gonna say there's there were quite clearly there's not much between most of these teams. Carl D and goal is the secret weapon here, Domino. Yeah, um, yeah. How I, I don't think I don't think Vulcan Academy would like me saying on stream that he's a very good goalkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, headed down nicely to Robert Sammy. Oh, Robert Sammy is curse able. Big, please, big, please stop it. Big, big, big goal. Massive goal for Dregs. They still have ten men. Yeah, it's a chance. Two though. goals down with fifteen minutes left. As to be fair, I'm going to leave Cardi alone because since I've been saying that. <laughs> You can see the goal and kicked out of play. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's my bad, yo. Um, I mean, I mean, I think 
Dregs will still fancy themselves because they are a good positive team here. But, I mean, Vulcan, what a story this is. Vulcan Academy going on to potentially, that pass was on there, potentially win two out of their first two games. And then the third game is against their, what, what do you call their senior team? Yeah, I, I would say, yeah, it's literally their senior team. <laughs> the They're first thing the that came to my team. head was their daddy team. I really told them. <laughs> <laughs> Here is George breaking into the box. I'm going to cannon off the post. post the goalkeeper rattling. nonchalantly just puts a hand up. They're coming at them again. They are relentless here. And do you know what? It would be really interesting to speak to um, to speak to some of the teams that have played this Vulcan Academy side. Do you know what would be really, really interesting? If the Academy team decided to create their own team. <laughs> Just like, guys, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're a little bit sick, to be fair. Uh, here is Robertson. Ooh, ran into the defender a little bit there. It would have been a soft penalty, but they would take anything at this point. Tried to pick out the man. Can't do so. Drake's putting on a good press considering yeah, they've got mate. 10 men. Privateer can't find strikers' feet. Good tackle. Win it back again. There's that press. Kazu, who we were Kazu looking forward to seeing again. a good player, mate. <laughs> They're playing no, 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 no to daddy team. I don't like it. Pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> no to daddy team. <laughs> Don't clip that either, please. <laughs> uh, George wins it back for Vulcan Academy. And to be fair, I mean, from what we've seen, obviously, you know, we've not seen too much. There are featured game next of his Academy side. Dreg seem to have had a lot of the ball and a lot of the chances, yet they're 3-1 up, sitting pretty comfortably on mm. six points. Yeah. A shoe in for the semi-final already. Yeah. I'm looking forward to watching them against their parents' team. <laughs> Daddy team. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> oh, it's just it's dispossessed on the edge of the box. I saw someone throw in a naughty tackle then as well. And since there's no punishment for red cards, people are going to be chucking in these naughty tackles in the 90th minute all day long. We're too lenient over here at PC Dubs. Too lenient. Yeah, no, I agree. And to be fair, right. we do have a featured game on here because I've just popped to my screen. Fenex and Ultra Instinct have kicked off. And in my opinion, right. before obviously this game started, there would be my two in contention to maybe both get to the finals there. And Fenex just went through and it was an unbelievable save. Eight ball, there's, there's a lot going on here, mate. There is a lot going on. There's, I'm, I'm, so our admin team, look at that. They're bang on it. Fill in the dregs. The dregs got one goal if you need to fill that in. Uh, but it does move Vulcan Academy to top of the league. Dregs on three points, Vulcan on one. Sheffield Wednesday, that does put them officially, not officially out, because Vulcan lose, Phoenix lose, they're through. So everything to play for going Hello? into this last game of the group stage. We did say we were going to get the Vulcan Academy game up, but what game have you got up now at the moment? Oh, Phoenix first, Ultra Instinct, mate. Into. Let's do that, only because I need to quickly go for a wee. So I'll leave you with that, and people yeah. on the stream can watch it as well, because it's awfully selfish. Are you putting that, about to... that up on the stream, mate, Paul? Yeah. Are you on the Phoenix one, yeah? Yes, mate. Beautiful stuff. Pop that on. I'll be 30 seconds. Everyone's a winner. Oh, that's naughty. Everyone's a winner, baby. Let's get the crowd noise on for you as well. Uh, twins and Kev getting in each other's way there. Humble. <laughs> right. I'll be back in 30 seconds. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I've been watching this game from the start, and it does look like Phoenix is on top at the minute ultra instincts are hanging on a little bit that they're looking solid at the back but fenix are firmly knocking on the door big tackle that's a foul oh okay no it must be the foul for something else however yeah fenix are winning the ball back nice and high now um ultra instinct need to just kind of settle this down a little bit kind of hold possession what they do is just grow into game so they need to just keep a little bit composed here make sure they don't give fenix any smell of blood in the water um, and string a couple of nice passes together like they're doing here. Goes to that man, that danger man, taking on two. What a save and a great recovery as well. 
that was very, very unlucky and is really well worked by Ultra Instinct. Um, but yeah, no stop in the action here. Fennec's got him on this right-hand side. Comes back inside. Keeper lets it out and it's gone for a corner. And Ultra Instinct do like to take their corners quickly. They have done it again here. Edge of the box. You've got to hit it. No. You've got to be hitting them. Edge of the box. John Arisa. They're still recycling it here. Comes to the left-hand side. Mate, Phoenix are knocking on this door, but Ultra Instinct are looking good. Um, another corner. Like they do like to take it quickly again. And it comes back. And Ultra Instinct do have a chance to break here. They have left men up. Oh, Fenix is doing so well. I am very, very impressed with how well they're doing in ball recovery. They're just finding nothing when they get into these dangerous areas. They could find something here. He's twisting a turning. Oh, oh my oh. days, Mac. Take a bow, sir. What a big That's thing not the Mac. that was. Mate, the, the Mac's giving his control to his brother. I'll tell you that now for a fact. Return Mac's giving his control to Mac. his brother. He, he, that's, that's not him. It can't be him. We give him a lot of stick, but he's actually quite good. <laughs> oh, but wait, have you just seen that? Hey, well, clip that, because if you didn't think he was that good, watch that. Unbelievable. Yeah, he'll be replaying that in the uh, in the admin chat for quite some time. Mate, that's, that's, that's goal of the month. Add it. <laughs> um, Ultra Instinct. A colossal of a team do doing what they it? do they best, though. Why do they keep trying and... people in? Luring people into a false sense of security and then go and score. They're they like a really, really, really good pro close weekly legacy in that they'll <laughs> concede, but they'll actually go and score, whereas we just threaten to score every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> we just look better. 1-1, uh, Phoenix and Ultra Instinct. This is not the featured game for the third game, the 10 o'clock game. What a game, game it's been, though. Mate, as um, you stepped away, 8-ball, Phoenix have been unbelievable. Them, am I their bad been, luck charm? Am I? Yeah, they, they've been class, mate. They've been class. They've been their build-up play has been excellent. Oh my god, a naughty ball inside again. <laughs> Style of wow. my clearance. Fair play to you. Okay, Niche, calm down. Two v two though. Nazario has got skills for days. Cuts it inside to Trazu. Twins as well. The, the issue is like, Ultra Instinct can be completely out of the game, but they can hurt you at any moment. They don't need to be dominant in possession. They don't need to be on top in the game they just get a sniff they get a chance and eight ball it looks like we are loading for the Volcan derby i am excited about that that is oh, mate, i'm excited about the Volcan derby as well i'll, I'll check in on both games so the if Vulcan you want to switch derby. across for the boys yeah if you want to leave this little uh this little slow burner on in the background that'd be brilliant i'm excited mate i'm excited for the derby Vulcan Derby, and um, we'll quickly have a look at the at the table to see kind of what the state of affairs is there. Who are the ones who had the really dodgy camera? It was Gaza, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Gaza, let's yeah. Let's go with Matty then for that one. Um, so let's take us out of this screen. Let's have a... We'll have a look at the tables, Domino. Table singular. Yeah, yeah you, you uh, look at that while I'm. Uh, uh, right, I think so. Vulcan Academy in the blue. Vulcan Daddies in the white. No, don't say that. <laughs> you do not want that to catch on. <laughs> right, so we've got Vulcan Academy top on six points. Vulcan Daddy on one point. Um. <laughs> I mean, a win for Vulcan seniors gets them both through to the semi-final. However, there is a chance they would have to play each other in that semi-final. So, I, I, I can't, I can't see that they're gonna try and they're gonna try and do anything. I think, I think we're pretty safe with that. So, yeah, yeah. Let's jump straight into the game. I'll refresh it as well because it normally puts me behind because I've got it on in the background. Um, I picked the wrong camera again, but oh just as my. I did, they're through. We're trying to work out who it is. It's, it's Vulcan. It's, it, it's Vulcan seniors. They have gone one nil to the good. And I tell you what, eight ball. It was great play, great work from the striker getting inside, hitting it near post. Excellent. See, look, playing doctors calling Vulcan Vulcan first, which is a perfectly reasonable name for them. Why did <laughs> Unlike... we think of first, eight ball? <laughs> Of yeah. all the things yeah. we said. Exactly, exactly. 
Uh, right, so we've got the first team in the white, the the academy team in the blue. This way, both teams go through to that semi-final stage. So, I mean, they're unbeaten so far. Is it a pass if the senior team go on to win this heavily? Yeah, it's, it's got to be, mate. And I tell you what, there's a player that I, I don't know if you know him from the scene, eight ball, but he's playing. Looks like RCM for the academy. He's called the Barn. And I tell you what, a couple of times, mate, the touches he's had in and around the midfield, he's just got that that presence where he can get you out of danger. He's been a really, really tidy player on, on the couple of snippets I've seen from him. I mean, it must be good for for a team, especially a new team like Vulcan, to be able to put forward two teams because there's 22 players you can actually have a look at. And mm. again judge them on results as well because you kind of you're playing the teams around so you kind of know how good they are anyway uh, it's not like kind of sending them off into you know a random tournament against teams you don't know um, they're playing in the same tournament so you kind of know what they're up against and you know the quality is decent so the, the, it's a good litmus test for both of these both of these teams but as a club on the whole it, it should be a quite a good night for Vulcan especially if they can both get through to the same final yeah, well, exactly. And to be fair, I'd always say it's obviously if I was a manager and I'm watching the team, let's just say the seniors weren't playing in it and they've sent their academy players out to play and the manager's having a scout and watching them. You get to see a little bit, but playing against them, you get to see a lot. Like you're very in depth in what they're doing. And if you're playing against a counterpart that's running you a little bit ragged, there's there's a talk to him. He's going to get a call up. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Geordie wins the header on this right hand side for the first Gaz, the skipper of the academy gets it clear uh, recycled by the first team who, who are looking to kind of stamp their authority on this and so far I would argue they've done that Domino? Oh yeah absolutely April. absolutely um, uh, I do I think from Shepherd Wednesday sorry, Shepherd Wednesday are all over with possession, Dregs parking the bus Go on, I mean, <laughs> Sheffield Wednesday have got to come out and win, at the very least, to stand a chance. Um, so I, I just feel unlucky for Sheffield Wednesday in that last game against Old Trinity, mate. It was there, it was there for them. It's a big confidence boost, and we know how good Sheffield Wednesday are, mate. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Gansh gets his pocket picked, um, but again, the first comeback. They are play This is kind of like a first versus seconds, isn't it? Um, mm -hmm. So far. The academy haven't got out of second gear yet. I'm going to switch this camera around at half time because Geordie, good player, bad cameraman. We often <laughs> find that with centre backs, though, don't we? Yeah, I mean, the, at least we haven't got the centre backs that's given us whiplash. So look, let's let's take things what we can get, mate. Ball. Tackled by George. Uh, who who was that last time? I forgot who was doing the stream where they're a really good player, but we were getting whiplash. But they might. Most centre backs we get cameras from what a ball that is cheeky cheeky but Gaz is there again uh, see if we can get something cooking for the academy side this chicken big Mac looks like a good player as well scored in the last game gives it to Bowen uh, cut out nice by Reza but they win it back high up probably the first time I've seen them in the mm -hmm. first box but it wasn't for very long and they come out with a 3v2 and a fantastic Ooh. ball through by Mikey Nice heavy touch by Guntanar, byline, and there's that man Domino, although he has given away possession, near post, double their lead just before half time, and Domino with the commentator's kiss of death. Eight ball. Do you feel guilty? The academy have been playing obviously good teams and getting some great results. Do you think when they play the first, it's, it's not like you go into the game with an inferiority complex, but there's so much different emotions going in there and playing the team obviously that, that you're competing to get in do you think it's a little bit like that like they're, they're a little bit gun shy or do you think they took the foot of the gas because they know it's they, they, they basically know that they're through anyway i know for a fact one of the best games i've ever seen you play is when me and you were manager and <laughs> you took over the trialists and you played in the trialist team against oh that's a good ball you played in the trialist team against our first eleven, and you guys beat us like one or two one. 
and I've never seen you play better. So <laughs> yes, I do think it is that kind of inter inter club competition. Like everyone's going to be in the same um, Discord chat, and the, you know they're all going to be knocking around trying to get into that first team. It is it is quite um, daunting. Yeah. For those players who aren't in in that first eleven, so it's probably the the worst we've seen the academy team look so far. And there've been some good teams on the way to where they are now already. So the only saving grace is that as things stand, I think that would put both of the Vulcans to teams through into that top yeah. four of six. So. <laughs> Hey, well, I'm going to have to stop you briefly CEO. there. Fenix have just gone 2-1 up against Ultra Instinct. Wow. And but Drexie only last score one nil up against Sheffield Wednesday. Well, the, the, the Fenix obviously will only last like, about 10 seconds until Ultra Instinct scores. Right, what can the Academy side do? Owen out wide, great ball to Enganch, but on this right-hand side today. I'm not going to lie, mate. I think Plague Doctor's going to be the unsung hero of this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This and Plague Doctor, I can see you've left me a couple of messages on Discord as well. Uh, if it's to discuss payment for tonight, <laughs> I'll have to send you towards Domino because I, I don't have <laughs> <have> finances. <laughs> uh, but I'll, I'll pick those up. I'll pick those up after the stream. Uh, here is the barn, Domino's new favourite player. Given away high up, Guntanar. What a save by Kyle D. I'm not going to say how good he is because last time I did that, yep. uh, all hell broke loose, but that was a very good save. Eight ball. I don't know if you. I'll just wait until. Wait until they score. Un. <laughs> Mate. <to see. laughs> but the quality of the keeper to save that eight ball, because obviously FIFA was not going to let him do it. And he got himself in the right position, and it just hit his knee. It's great. Oh, my God, it's 2-2 in the uh, Fenix and Ultra Instinct game. What do we expect? Yeah, you called it. We called it. We're starting to get to grips with the teams that are in this tournament today. <laughs> and a as things stand, I'm not sure who the other team that's going home is. Sheffield Wednesday are down if they can't get anything from dregs that's a they need a two goal swinger there uh vulcan are two goals up here and look good for the win especially if they can get a third here big save by carl d gets up and makes another <laughs> save can i say again domo can i say no, how good this man no, is stop it stop it okay stop he's a very it. average player don't sign him anyone else yeah yeah wow and there, there it is. Oh, big save again from a Jesus very average Christ. goalkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> Shepherd Wednesday nil, dregs two. I think that might just be outside. good night, yeah, just Irene. Um, that might send dregs through as well, actually. Um, so both teams there had everything to play for. Um, so I'm not sure who that leaves. That leaves Phoenix. Uh, if they're two all, Domino, I think that might be a good night for them as well. Oh. Chicken Big Mac. They just had the. It's the last minute eight ball. They've just had a chance, and unfortunately couldn't get it done. It comes to the end of the box eight ball. It's spilling out, and Ultra Instinct holds on to it, mate. Ultra Instinct holds on to it. Wow. Well, we almost saw a red card there. I, I, I don't even think he got booked in the end, but it was a naughty tackle by Chicken Big Mac. Um, perhaps showing some of that frustration. From being 2 0 down, but going into this game top of the league. Uh, and Ganch cuts it back. A bit of whiplash, headed out, and once again, Domino is, is really, really looking like uh, first versus second here, and everything just going in the first's favour. Yeah, yeah, they've been. Here we go. Dom and Big Mickey. Game set and match. I mean,. Ultra Instinct game is finished. The dregs yep. are all but finished. Yeah, we'll stick with these guys. Done. We'll see it through. Um, they're repairing some of the damage to the goal difference as well. And both of these Vulcan sides are going through to the semi-finals. I don't 
don't know how you feel if you're the trialist or not. Oh, okay, April, that's the point I wanted to say to you. I don't know if you know this for a fact, but I remember when we done the trialist teams, we did split our core group of players in half. I took half, you took half, and then the trialist filled out the needed and necessary spots. You can quote that through, could say. So do you think it's a case that the Vulcan, they do have some of the first team players in the academy, or is it solely academy and solely... Um, I mean, you would probably think it would be solely academy, solely firsts. I mean, I mean, look at what we're watching. That would suggest it definitely is. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I mean, may maybe Vulcan are onto something here. They've got two quality teams, two teams that have gone through out of out of four in a six-man tournament. <laughs> Big tackle. tackle again from the barn, but he's going to yeah. pick up a booking. You know, they're, they're quite clearly they're doing something right with the with the early recruitment because don't forget the the season only finished what last season uh, last week, mm -hmm. so they're already on it with the recruitment. And they're already doing big big things in big big tournaments, <laughs> massive tournaments, mate. This is in Ganch. Dinks into that front post header from Jokers. It's knocked down to Eile and it's four nil. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're doing a bit to that goal difference, eight ball. Here we go. Between Plague Doctor and uh, Joe in the chat, Vulcan have got their first full team 11 signed, whereas Academy got their own manager. Uh, yeah, what Joseph said, basically. Yeah, so they are they are their two individual teams, and at the moment nice. they have full on got the hierarchy correct here, haven't they? Well, absolutely. I mean, to be fair, we were... Uh, we were definitely looking forward to this game and it made it a lot more spicy that they were ahead of them in the table. I, yeah. I don't know if they've just kind of sunk on this one because, mate, the clips that we've seen of the academy, they have played a lot better than they have shown in this game. However, Vulcan first have definitely upped their game. They have played mm -hmm. a very, very well strategic game and they've, they've looked dominant. I mean, look at the amount of saves the keepers made. And I'm not going to lie to you, it, it, it could have been a lot more able. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, it's, it's, it's quite a good scenario for for Vulcan. One, both teams go through, and two, their their first team have proven why they're in the first team and not yep. the academy, effectively. So, you know, obviously we're still going into the into the semi finals, Ooh. but I mean, to be fair, these two could actually play each other. We'd have to look at the table back to back games. It could happen because. First play second and he might be first play four. Wow, <laughs> yeah, big I think he might be offside. Big finish. What? Get offside? that goal difference. That might that might be the difference. I don't know. That might sway <laughs> things. But they they could face each other back to back, and you bet fine well that the academy will put on a much better. That's just gone wide. A much better performance in this, especially uh, with the stakes being so high. Mm -hmm. Swings it in. These corners are dangerous, Abel. And, and, and to be fair, that's what you get with an established team versus a trialist team. You've got set routines and set things you're going to do week in, week out. For the trialist, it's going to be a little bit hard to defend stuff like that. Oh, mate. Oh, please stop Ooh, that. Tipped onto the post. Oh, I know who man of the match is going to be for, for Vulcan Academy this game. I'm mate, not, I tell still you what, though. Say his name. The play, the style of finish and the save all of that it world class in a nutshell good feet <laughs> by Geordie there uh, Matty Kante gives it out to Enganch takes on his man gets pulled back says don't worry about it edge of the box got to be a first time volley hasn't it power shot big save from Kyle D once more <laughs> Whoever's whoever's doing the stream has to go and see how many saves this man has made he's a he's like a man possessed right now I love, I love how they're trying to push that man out of front pose as well. For the, <laughs> he's literally trying to push him off the pitch. I like so it. Strong good. tactics. They do manage to get this one cleared. See what they've got in the form of a counter-attack. Oh, just didn't hold Not it. Not much. Not much. And if these two teams are going to play each other next, um, they, they've got to, one, I think, work on those defending the, the, the corners first and foremost. To just trying to be a bit more potent from some of these counter attacks, because yeah. times like this where the ball breaks, exhibit A, literally just the wrong pass, 
and, and that is the whole point of academy, I guess, Domino, because you've got the players who are good who maybe just don't make the right decisions at the right times. No, um, absolutely, but to be fair, the teams they beat, so they beat Wednesday, and they beat, was it Fenix or Dregs? Oh my, that's a ball. quote me, that's a ball, though. What's that's the finish like? Chicken Big Mac. This goalkeeper as well, Visor, he's been he's been one of the players of the tournaments as well. He's, I mean, everyone keeps shooting at his near post for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why, but he's saving everything at his near post. Uh, Muda, Muda's in the chat. What is this? This is the PCW Invitational. <laughs> um, this is what people get invited to when they are nice people. <laughs> When they, to be fair, each one of these teams have got us a gift basket. So, <laughs> yeah. that's what it is. Um, well, let's see where this leaves us then. Um, I'll leave. I'll leave the admin team to put that last score in. But it does look like Phoenix are going to be out because oh. Vulcan won that game. So going through the scores on the doors, Domino. Mm -hmm. uh, Vulcan Academy beating Sheffield Wednesday in that first game of the group stage 2-0 the Dregs beat Phoenix which was our featured game at 9 o'clock 2-0 and Vulcan were beat by Ultra Instinct 2-1 uh, then Vulcan Academy two winning teams beat the Dregs 3-1 Phoenix and Vulcan drew 2-2 in a good game and an even better game than that was Ultra Instinct versus Sheffield Wednesday which Ooh. finished 3-2 Finally, there is that final group uh, group table. Sheffield Wednesday nil the Dregs 2. We didn't manage to catch any of that, but the Dregs get themselves into second place. Mm -hmm. uh, and what that does, Domino, is that does separate Vulcan Academy and Vulcan 7 as well. So <laughs> they could potentially play each other in the final, but first, Vulcan have just got the tiny, tiny job of beating Ultra Instinct, who did finish who top. Who are undefeated. Um, undefeated as well, uh, the only undefeated team. I was about they, to say the only team they undefeated. Did draw that last game against Phoenix, which seems strange because Phoenix ended up going out as well. So, one of only two teams not to win a game tonight. Um, and the highest scorers in a single game were Vulcan, uh, as they beat Vulcan Academy four-one. No love mm. lost there, um, but it did mean that both Vulcan teams go through. So. There's the scores on the doors. Um, Ultra Instinct will be playing Vulcan 7. And the Dregs will be playing Vulcan Academy. I imagine both of these games, Domino, will be kicking off at roughly the same time. Yep. So I suggest maybe we do a half of each. Yeah, I'm out of It's that just either. about choosing which half. We're <laughs> not getting it the wrong way around. Watch us get two nil nil halves. I'm thinking Instinct and Vulcan first half and Dregs and Academy in the second. Sounds good to me, mate. And it, on your head be it. On your head be it. Um Finally, a Wednesday that Hammer can join you, Domino. These two have got such a love affair going on that sometimes I wake up in cold sweats in the middle of the night. <laughs> uh, and hey, I my try guy. my best to keep these two away from each other. Yeah, he's my guy. Uh, Moody, yeah, Kev mentioned, yeah, Mercia, Mercia invited to everything we do. Um, he, I mean, to be fair, he did tell me that your availability wasn't good, not that you were playing in a cash cup, so you did kind of drop him in the doo-doo there so i'll be having words with him after this right let's get some streams so domino if you want to get the dregs and vulcan academy up in the i've got background. both mate i've got both here ready to oh. go eight ball side by side he's learning he's evolving quite it's clearly wants up in the job it's all about i mean i've still got it up here but yeah that is old Right, let's see what we can do with this. Is it going to be a case of lobby simulator? Yes, it is. Um, have any of yours kicked off yet? I, I no, I mean know. all the academy, mate. All the academy boys are in, ready to go. The academies are ready, Love mate. That. Look, prompt on time. Love if you're going to get a call up, if you're going to get a, a position to the big leagues, that's what you got to do, mate. You got to come correct. They've come correct. <laughs> uh, what we got? Reese is in the chat. Hello, mate. Um, what day is it? It's a Wednesday. Would you have been playing anything? Did you play VFL tonight? VFL Wrexham? Uh, 
Reba Z. Brilliant tournament. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you very much. And to be fair, this is this is what happens when we get good people, good teams, all together. That that was the aim of this. So it's nothing Eightful. to do with us or you. Just going to give a quick shout out though for the boys at Sheffield Wednesday and Phoenix for coming along because obviously they've they've both gone out. But mate, what what to be fair, an honour to have both those teams on the channel. To be both the teams if, are if they're sound. going out in the first stage it just shows how good this tournament is and the quality of this tournament is yeah sometimes it's united able sometimes it's not i mean fenix looked good in every game they played and unfortunately just couldn't yeah. rack up enough points i mean they gave old instinct a proper run for their money and so did sheffield wednesday and ultra instincts at the minute are the favorites to win the tournament it was just one of those times where the results don't go your way but boys yeah always appreciate it generally it's a privilege to have you guys on the channel absolutely yeah yeah and again like we said that is why th this basically what this tournament is for is because we know everyone's going to be here relatively on time we know it wasn't anyone's fault tonight um sometimes that does happen but we should be in and out of here in what maybe 40 minutes time because we've got a semi-final of our choice and then we've got the final uh, better ran than ATB. We are not comparing ourselves to anyone, but also the people behind the scenes. So Shermer, uh, Sparta, Finn. Uh, I mean, I know Max playing, but Mac will be doing something. Uh, have I missed anyone, Domino? I don't think I've missed anyone. Our, our graphics team, JD, guys, if you need any graphics doing, go and Am check I out. Shout out Abel? Go and check out our last couple of graphics because we've tagged that man there. Um, that guy is very very talented um joe as well i think that's everyone i mean i'll congratulate myself as well because the, this was my brainchild and am i gonna shout out at all i think that's everyone yeah <laughs> <laughs> domino you got you did really well getting those streams up by yourself so well i mean i was on time as well so <laughs> look like, there, there's a couple of points here I'm, I'm oh. all right just to let you know, Ball, we are seconds away from kicking off in the Academy versus Dregs game. I mean, it's and surely we, it's got to be first come the pitch first now, there, my right? Well, yeah, we're going to have to put this one on because the boys are on the pitch now, Ball, We have just kicked off with the Vulcan in their patented blue kit and their Dregs out here in their white kit. Right then, let's go over to that. We'll just swap them around, I guess. This way we get to watch some of the last bit as well. Right. Off Eight that ball. goes. On that goes. Nothing's happened, sure. We haven't missed any goals, have we? No, you're you're gonna know this more than me. Shot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> did Dregs so I know Ultra Instinct played Vulcan in the first game we covered and it was two one to Ultra Instinct. Did Dregs play the Academy? And if so, what was the score? Did Dregs play the Academy? No, they didn't. They didn't get us, oh, so, so this is a fresh game. These two have never fresh played game. Each other fresh before. game for everyone. Fresh game for everyone. Nice how that's worked, actually. Although I yeah. did kind of want the grudge match, back to back grudge matches, because that would have been good. But we move. We could see it in the final still. Yeah, I mean to be fair, but, but, uh, yeah, Volk. They've got they've got a hard task because they did go and lose against Ultra Instinct. Oh, it's, it's the first game, so you you do catch you a little bit cold there, and and it was well contested two one, so there's not much in it. So, I mean, they'd look to be getting that one back if I'm honest with you. The Razinator. Big block, big block. Uh, Tommy K for the dregs uh, at centre-back. Very good player, Domino. Um, and, yeah, I, I think the dregs, are, the dregs are dark horses here. They're, Mate, I was about to say that. I was literally about to say yeah, that. Yeah, we are, we're, talking, we're talking a lot about Vulcan, and, and rightly so, but... You know the dregs came out here they were on that featured opening game and they they did a number over a very very strong phoenix side mm -hmm. they're in the semi-final they're looking good here pulls it back <laughs> who but that man at the back post the skipper for the academy side gaz kiernan um clears it away don't get me wrong it was off the back of one of his teammates tommy k it's, oh my Offside? I mean, that was perfect timing because I just said what a good player he was. However, he <laughs> was offside. Uh, Nimza takes a shot. Kyle D, the average goalkeeper. Don't sign him up, anyone else. T-Row <laughs> wins up high. Numcha with the snapshot. That's going to be a 
not a penalty, you don't know. Wow. Why well, is it called back out there, Abel? <laughs> Nothing happened on that side of the pitch. <laughs> it's, it's very, very far away. Yeah, it's quite Mate, far dregs, away. Yeah. Dregs are getting on top early here. Yep. Do you think, Abel, I'm going to be honest with you, do you think the beating from the senior team slightly dented the confidence here? Because we're yep. looking at a, a le less confident side at the minute. Yeah, yeah. I was. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you because because if I just I get that feeling. There's a bit of a sinking feeling for this academy side. They need leaders now, and they need match winners because this drag side look like oh, eleven mate. v eleven. They might be the stronger team, but you know fine well anything can happen in elevens. If you've yeah. got match winners. That's it. They, it doesn't matter how good you are. Doesn't matter how much possession you got. They can win you the game, and they can win you any given game. Yeah, yeah, we'll absolutely. Find that cool. out now. And I tell you what, since watching Dregs on one of the first games we done, it looks like they're fully warmed up because some of the cycles of play that they just performed there, without obviously getting the shot off on target, mate, they are looking good. Each player looks confident with the ball to feet. I don't think that's a smart strategy for them. Is going through that early. Every time they've rushed it, they've looked just a little bit unsettled. Then, mm -hmm. then with their slick build-up play, mate, they are looking so, like such a great outfit. But he's ran his man twice. That's got to be a pen, Abel. It's got to be a pen. Waller. It's got to wow. be a pen. It's got to be a pen. That's the first attack. That's the first time they've been in a half, Abel. Wow. It's a pressure pen. It's a pressure Here pen. Here we go. Oh, my. Belly and big save from I'm the just doctor. Ahead of you. I'm just ahead of you. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh I mean, to be fair, I, that animation, I, I usually don't have much good to say about EA, but that animation was perfect. I love that. Um, big, big chance for the Academy side here. And now we've got a four versus three with that danger man, Kavzu. Step overs for days. Sends his man for hot dogs, gets some reinforcements, does those as well, but George does fantastically. Um, anywhere will do for... for Vulcan Academy for now in the blue. The white of Dregs has, has been a feature in this game. Swarming forward. They do win the free kick. I'm just though. looking at chat. Someone said poor. What was Joe saying poor Domino? What happened? Did I miss it. I think he was just calling you poor. <laughs> well, yeah, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. Are we talking I, about financially, physically? <laughs> it's because you didn't get a. Uh, it's because you didn't get a, a nice thing said about you. Ah, oh, may I say nice things about everyone bar Abel. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, corner to the dregs, 30 minutes in. Domino, have you got the other stream up as well? I have, mate. It does look like Volcom are doing really well and they're pushing forward here, but it is nil-nil on this side, 17 minutes gone. Oh, I like that, a little bit behind. Should catch the last few minutes of that game as well. The Bard, 91, doing really well. Oh my, well Abel. Oh until my. He until he didn't. The deadlock has been broken, Abel. No, we picked the wrong game. And it has been broken by Volt. They are 1 0 up this is with some fancy footwork do, inside and top right bins. 1 0 to the Vulcan. I'll give them a crowd noise anyway, just from afar. <laughs> Plague distance, Doctor's mate. on it as well. Look at that. Oh, Sign oh that man up. Knocked down by Roan to the dangerous Nimscha. Big save again. Hey, don't hey, sign hey, this man. He's so average. Abel, hey, Abel. Hey, Why am I watching? Ball's to be me. fair, I mean, if Kyle tunes into this and sees me calling him average all the time, he's going to be so confused. <laughs> I should probably send him a message after this. <laughs> George J spins away from his man nicely there. He's having a good game. Cuts inside, and that man was on the overlap. There we go. Bowen gets it, and it's the danger. It's got to be another one. It's got to be another one. Eight ball. It's oh, got to be another one. It's the Wait, same man know. as well. Eight ball. Quickly, before they take it, do you change takers? Do you change takers? Absolutely, you change takers. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Change takers. There we go. Here, Here we, we go. go. Slanky janky. On for run up. Oh my god, it's slow. It's slow. It's, it's down the middle. It's slow. Oh. He went the same side. He's gone the same side. Wow. Vulcan Academy 1, Dregs nil in the semi final. Both Vulcan teams have oh got my one foot oh in my. the final. Oh my. Oh dear. Plague Doctor's commentating on the game we're commentating on. I love it. Don't stop. 
<laughs> yeah, but Plague Doctor's here for people in the chat. He's here for people <laughs> yeah. in the chat. So they, they, they might not be able to to watch the stream, but just read the comments, so that's what Plague Doctor's for. <laughs> He's doing a better job than us, to be fair. He Here's did a better job chat. than me. Get him on the channel, late ball. <laughs> yeah. Beats his man for pace. Does him with the overlap. Gets a 1-2, but look who's there. Is that Mate, Mike how, Kyle How did he do that, though? How did he do that? He does what he wants, mate. He does what he wants. Ever since I've stopped calling him really good, he's been amazing. Yeah, the one time he called him really good, he conceded a goal and kicked yeah, out. Yeah, and then he kicks the ball out of play as well. CTR gives it to Robertson. Carl D, routine for that man. You, you, you're going to have to do a lot. You're going to have to do a lot to be here. But how did he concede four goals in the last game? Tell me that. I, I mean, he made about. He must have made double digit <laughs> saves. Easily. Easily edge of the box Tommy K with a knockdown that is an unfortunate goal for them to concede and we said it in the last game Domino defending those set pieces specifically corners it's not their forte is it it can't be eight ball they're, they're a brand new team put together today that they can't be it can't be their forte they, they don't have they don't have the facilities to defend corners like that it only comes from repetition repetition they haven't had enough of it but, mate, what I like about Dregs is they're never out of the game and they had been knocking on the door. I think that is a fair result going in the breakout 1-1. No, totally agree. Totally agree. Right, we've got the Hammers link for maybe, what, the last 10 minutes? No, no, no. Yeah, this, this one's, yeah, yeah, we've got the yeah five minutes left of this one. And they are through. April, you might miss a goal if it was no, but Dregs cleared it. There we go. We're Volk. safe. We're safe. Crowd noise on. Let's go. Nazario to his strike partner Alvarez into the back post. Ailey does well. Um, and it's to be fair, Domino, it's shocking, absolutely shocking, that Ultra Instinct haven't already equalised. Well, yeah, this is the longest time they've gone without recovering a lead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, without scoring recovering instantly deficit. after conceding. Jordy looking for Luke. W's feet finds it and here it comes and Gansh has a man right at the back post that looked like it might have gonna be locking on to yeah. him. Yeah, uh, traveling that way. Save for that intervention. Not Alvarez takes it down in a stride. Prime like Tierra Henri into the back post. Knocked down. There Gosh. it is. Top bins absolutely smashed home. Two goals, Domino, in the 46th minute. Back to back. There we go. What do you expect, April? What, what do you expect from this team? It's if they go one goal down, you you know you're gonna they, they've got a clawback ability. They have got the clawback ability on. <laughs> I did curse for you, be said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, both both games then, Domino, going in uh, to half time at one all, having seen both Vulcan teams go one up, having seen both Vulcan teams concede in the 46th minute. Not from it's, corners, but... It, it, it's a weird deja vu that I'm playing in my head. I'm not going to lie, but it's a weird deja vu that we're, we're on yeah. at the minute. Yeah, I agree. Let's take it back to that first game we were watching, which I'll is tell you what, I'm watching Dregs. the minute, mate, and Dregs, Dregs are cooking. Dregs are looking so tidy on the ball. Hence why, the reason I actually don't want them to rush play, because they look so class in possession, mate. They're, again, they're so good at holding the ball, getting away from tight positions. And I don't like them rushing the play because it's art to watch eight ball. They're, they're looking good, mate. They are looking good. Well, hopefully they watch this back and they they take what you've been saying on board because I think you're spot on. Um, you know, the, the L1 triangles, the lob through passes, uh, they're so tempting. Yeah. But these I'm guys, definitely... are they're better than me and you, Domino. They don't need to do that. <laughs> no. And like I said, it's, it's individuals everywhere. And... The, the frustration I get and, and it is sometimes you've got to fight someone's ego in a position and I think Drake's kind of do that because it's not like they're doing it on purpose to be cheeky they're doing it because they're good players but what we've here got we go. here power shot power shot maybe Ooh, Kinley absolutely pickpocketed in there and the Dregs have a chance to counter they come back actually they're, they're taking on board what you're saying Domino and now uh, with that give and go from CTR, they've got men forward. They've got the ball at their feet, just how they like it. Rome looking for that near post. The captain's giving it away. It's Numcha near post. Two one to the Dregs. It all the hard work that Dregs put in to get a goal with their great build-up play. Like I said, mate, it came down to an error of 
good pressure, but they gave the ball away, and it's a tidy finish, mate. Yeah, dre dregs are good for the 2-1 the lead, and it does look like a long way back for the academy boys. And that, do you know what, that actually came from an academy attack as well. Mm. Um, George J bursting into the box, unable to do anything with it, and dregs just do what dregs do best they they work the ball up the pitch they were patient that time round they were fortunate to nick the ball back off uh, off of Gaz Kiernan but such as such as EA such as FIFA from mm -hmm. time to time and you know they've got what just over 20 minutes to go and get something out of this game and why not on this night of all nights a fairy yeah. tale night for the academy side <laughs> let's make it happen Oh my eight ball, and it's some bad news in the other game for the Volcom A team. Ultra Instinct have just took the lead from a fierce volley, close range to goal, top bins, and I took mate, it's deja vu here. It's deja yeah. vu. <laughs> yeah. So from two leads, there are now two losses in the Volcom camp. Can they turn things around like things have been turned around on them? Because um, at one stage we were looking at an all Balkan final, a repeat of that third group game, and now it's two teams crashing out in the semi final as Dregs come pouring forward again after winning up high into their danger man, their talisman, Numscha. CTR looks like a good player, but I just said that and he's lost it. Far. Good ball, cracking ball actually. Uh, here is Bowen. I mean, they got 15 minutes left, but just the two players up, and mm. that's kind of what happens. Uh, Redizzi does really well, tries to play off his man, forces the mistake, and the dregs keep possession. Yeah, mate. The, 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 to be fair, it really good here by um, the Vulcan team. They're not lying down here. They've not decided. They're just going to resound it to to losing this. Might have snuck outside there, eight ball. I think he has snuck outside there. Wow. And that is a big finish. That is a big finish, what and that will take them finish there. That is, and that might be lights out for this academy side. <sighs> I, I tell you what, eight ball. The whole thing there, the run to stay on side because I thought it was very, very borderline. The touch to beat that keeper in this kind of form, eight ball. Yeah, it, yeah. it needed a bit, and it needed to be top in the bus. That's a sign of a great finisher, timed running, and dangerous finishing. So fair play, Dregs, and that might seal your ticket into the final. It was it was a great finish. I think, again, like you said, against a keeper in this form as well makes it even better. Uh, and the Dregs are not letting up. They are they're they're warming up for the final now. Uh, Privateer, their skipper with the feet. Kinley with the fake power shot. Uh, unless they can get something from this, Domino, they are starting to pull men forward. Might be on I side. Thought it was on. No. I thought it was on 8-ball. I thought the bar I played thought, that quite perfectly. Yeah, I, I thought their, their, their other centre-back was very, very deep. Mm. Um, and don't forget, Domino, this is the game where they did miss that first half penalty as well. Cameron Ooh, just about gets yes. it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they maybe ruined that. They did get another penalty um, from, from the same man. I won't name and shame the, the player from the... What a ball that is by Kinley, by the way. Uh, plays in Kazu, the danger man. Um, yeah, we won't name and shame the Dregs player, but he'll be thankful. His team have dug him out, and they will be going through into the final to play for that cash prize. Big 30 Eight quid. Big 30 quid. There has been a fourth goal. In the other game, is it who we think it's going to be? Yes, it and is. It has got Ultra to instinct. instinct. I mean, we can go over there now. I'll uh, I'll quickly refresh this because that is all she wrote for the academy game. Quick. Oh, the fairy over. tale story, mate. It's the fairy tale story. Oh, I, I was there, mate. Heartstrings and all. I was there with. <laughs> I, I was there with the academy team. It's just not meant to be eight ball. This, no, game, um, this game is very, a cruel mistress. Very, very well played by the dregs. Um, Very well played by the Dregs. It's, it's it's gonna be an exciting watch for the final with those guys in it. Big block by Geordie. Uh and Vulcan now. They've got they've got the whole Vulcan camp cheering them on. Yep. They've got eight minutes to do something and to be fair, Domino, it's not even something, it's a it's a huge something. 
be so huge, I think. But I mean, to why get... not? Why not? Yeah. If there's time to make yourself a hero, no other time than the first ever PC Dubs Invitational. What a yeah. time. What a time to make yourself a, a legend, people. A, a legend. cult hero. A cult, cult hero. hero. Channel hero. <laughs> Told you there'll be folk songs written about you in the taverns of old. <laughs> Some of these players can't even legally go into a tavern, don't they? <laughs> Good tackle by Redza. Ruben's in the chat. Ruben, how are you doing? Um, yeah, the Dregs looked fantastic in that last game. Yeah, Excited to yeah. see them in the final. It does look like they're going to be playing this dangerous Ultra Instinct team. Uh, here is Nazario. They're all taking turns tackling each other. Something's got to happen now. Anything will do. And Ultra Instinct do exactly what you would expect them yeah, to do at this stage. Slow this game. Recycle down. that ball, keep that ball, game management into stoppage time. Can they sneaky sneak another? No, they can't. It is that man, that that goalkeeping goat visor will face off against the dregs in the final. Can Gantch see if he can do anything, although time is not on their side. The hammer makes a good tackle, it's out for a mm. corner and no, I think Plague Doctor, bang on. Um, it wasn't meant to be for Vulcan and Vulcan Academy going into this final. However, that's a four. Oh, Geordie almost saw his name in lights. Another big save. And time, Domino. Time. Time for the final. <laughs> Eight I Eight am boys. excited. Eight boys. Mate, what what a semis that was! Having both games up, watching both the two Vulcan teams come up one nil, you just set up for the grudge match, the rematch between the academy and the first. But look, it's the established teams, mate. It's the established teams that gets the job done. The Ultra Instincts and the Dregs. April, you've got to remind me: Have Dregs played Ultra Instincts? Oh no, my, that's what I want to hear, April. That is what we, I want We've to hear. managed to do this tournament whereby no one has played each other twice, <laughs> which is a complete fluke, but we'll take it. We're owed some good luck anyway. Of all the drafts we've done over the last few <laughs> months, all the people not showing up, we've had none of that tonight, and it's been an absolute pleasure. And now we present to you the final, and what a final it should be. Let me go and spam the socials. Uh, Domino, if you can keep an eye on that and let us know when that comes in. Yeah, lovely. April, what stream are you going with? I'm just going um, to hammers at the minute. Whichever one you want to go. Oh, God, hammers, mate. It's a change. Ch ch it, it, my setup's now perfect, so I'm here. I'm done. I've cleared up. You oh, mate, what a fight we've got. And to be fair, should we just give a shout out to the both Vulcan teams, to be fair? Oh, yeah, yeah. What a Mate. fairy tale story that's been. Um, and to be fair, you know, it's it's the first kind of, it's the first glance that we've had of those guys. And yeah, like I said, they have got through against some tricky teams. Well, tricky is probably an absolute understatement. They got through against some very very good teams. Um, and I'm sure you know they they'll know how good they look tonight. So, yeah. I mean, it, it did look from the... T to be fair, it, it was polar opposites. I think the academy team started running out of steam where the first started picking up momentum and it kind of came to a head in that game between them. You could see, like, the shift in tide. Um, yeah, and obviously Vulcan went up against the league leaders, league favourites. Um, but to be fair, just appreciate you boys coming on the channel. I hope you guys had fun. And I, I liked how you put out two teams, which is great. Again, all adds to the drama, but yeah. Vulcan, you look like a really tidy outfit for a new team. I hope your trial lists go well, and yeah, good luck for the upcoming seasons. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the good thing about uh, running a tournament like this, guys, is that chances are we'll probably see you again uh, as, as the weeks actually go on. So long may it continue. And yeah, like I said earlier on, you guys have put on an absolute show tonight, mm. and it's not finished. Exhibit A. We're in the changing rooms with this Ultra Instinct side who, Domino, I'm not sure if the Dregs will will like me saying this, but are Ultra Instincts the favourites? 
Oh, I would say yes, mate. I've just seen Dregs play some unbelievable football. Bit of advice. Let's say if I was in the Dregs dressing room, do not, I repeat, do not go 1-0 up. <laughs> just don't do it. Wait until the 80th minute and then try and score then. Just save that time. But all joking aside, 8-ball, I think it's Ultra Instinct are on the crest of a great performances here. They're, 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 the confidence got to be high. They're undefeated. Yeah, mate, they're, they're going in full confidence as as the favourites, the betting line favourites. Dregs are no slouches, mate, but I do think it's going to be an uphill battle for them. Absolutely. Right, let's get score predictions in the chat. Ooh, let's Domino. go. There's a lot of Dregs fans in the chat, mate. The, the Dregs the Dregs chat is popping up. There's Dregs fans sat in the commentary box. Everyone's ah, a Dregs yeah. fan. We love the Dregs. <laughs> we absolutely love the Dregs. Um, unfortunately for Dregs, they are coming up against a channel, a massive channel favourite in the Hammer. They've got Captain America alongside him, and they've got some tricky, tricky players in that strike force. Not Alvarez, Di Nazario, Dregs defenders. I'd rather you than me. You, you guys deal with that. That being said, I do strongly think Dregs have played the best football tonight. Mate, okay, I I'll agree with you. I will actually agree with you. I think Ultra Instincts have probably looked the clinical over that the whole thing. But some of the football Dregs have played, mate, like I said, it's when they've not started going long. And today there's time to go long. Don't get me wrong, but each individual on that Dregs team looked very very confident on the ball. Look like they can pull defenders in, and like I said, they play at your confidence. If I'm getting continuously turned and beat by the player, it's gonna wind me up. The more I get wound up, the less I'm gonna play well. And I don't know if it's a tactic of theirs, but they do it really well, mate. And eight ball, I'm excited. I'm excited. Ruben's got five two to dregs. Ruben, Watch I'll give you some big odds on that, mate. I'll give you some some cracking <laughs> odds on that. I I hope there's seven goals. Um. Just a quick reminder, Domino, we need to get our match results uh, in before this game kicks off. So we'll do that afterwards. But just a reminder, if this does go to extra time, it is golden goal. <laughs> so kind of, that would be pretty exciting. Plus we get more football for the night because this is the final match of the night. Domino, I'm going to go 2-1 Ultra Instinct. I'm going to go 1-0 the dregs sorry hammer sorry hammer <laughs> one one nil the dregs scoring it in the 85th minute okay again much like ruben i'll give you good odds on that stephen baines three two to dregs what's the best cam build <laughs> that's a time <laughs> of place <laughs> uh watch this ctr because he looks pretty tasty at the moment uh as does robertson to be fair any player in this final looking tasty yeah. Uh, Niji again, another player who's had a fantastic tournament. Uh, Carl Davis just copying me, two one Ultra Instinct. Uh, I think that will be a that will be a favourite. Yeah, yeah. Scoreline, I think. Um, early corner for the Dregs, edge of the box. Skipper Hamarovic wins that, picks out a teammate nicely. It's Traz Goo. Out wide to first, slides yeah, it through. Like He's going to get there first. Yeah. It's not Alvarez and burst through as well. Back post. Striker just got underneath that a little bit there, Dominic. Mate, that was like a real life animation. I was really. Like, he actually got nudged, took him away from the ball, and no one ended up winning. I, I said in the last game, animation. didn't I? I was very impressed with the penalty animation. Are we actually being positive about EA? Yeah, I think so, mate. Actually, there's not been a misconnection that I know of in the game as well, so let's go. Yeah, to be fair, that is the first ever tournament with Ram where no one's... Uh, to be fair, they might have been doing it behind the scenes, I don't know. Our admin team, again, massive shout out to the admin team who have made us run so smoothly. <laughs> We've not done anything. Dom's had time to go and find streams himself. This is crazy. Amazing. You guys are spoiling us. It's absolutely ridiculous. Swings it in. Rome does well. Defensive duties nicely. I think it's... Uh... <laughs> Where do you start with this with this Ultra Instinct team, Domo? Because, you know, you don't want to go a goal down against them because they're very no. good. But also, you know, you said before the game, you also don't want to score against them because it angers them. So <laughs> what, do you, what do you do against this team? In all honesty, 
you, once you go a goal up, and if you do go, that's a naughty tackle. Please don't give me a oh. red card. I want to ruin a final. Thank you very much. It was a yellow card. I just didn't want EA to do anything silly. I think once you go a goal up, you've just got to get your boys absolutely tuned in mentally for like we are gonna we're gonna get an onslaught here, boys. You've got to make sure we defend for our lives the next first 15, 20 minutes and see this out and get it back to an even playing field because you know what they can do. Now, Ultra Instinct haven't done that they haven't got one part of their game what's outstanding. They just do everything very, very well. They're mm -hmm. a very well oiled, all around kind of team. Where I think the Dregs do have specialists in the ability to take on players. So yeah. it is. It, to be fair, it's a it, it's a difference of styles that should translate into a good game. Yeah, I I think these two are matched up really nicely, uh, stylistically and quality wise as well. As Kazu plays a one two off of Raven, we're twenty minutes in. That's flown by, and that's normally a good sign uh, of a good game. And here come the Dregs with that that patented quality free flow of football that. going forward. Look at it. Like I said, they're fighting egos, mate. They're just taking it, skipping by people when they want to. It, it, it's, it's hard to deal with 8-ball because I, I can't be a player that it keeps doing it to all the time. I'd lose my head. I'm red carded. <laughs> uh, appreciate you setting up the tournament. Hopefully more to come. Well, Kyle. Well. <laughs> there will be. There is. Watch this space. Uh, Alvarez on the edge of the box. It's so gonna it's drop it's eventually. Scrappy. Red as he does really Anywhere well. Anywhere will do, there. mate. Anywhere will do. Absolutely, absolutely. And we've, to be fair, we've we've seen that a lot from Ultra Instinct actually. Just kind of that last ditch defending. Anywhere will do, and they're they're confident winning the ball back. So they've just had a bit of taste of their own medicine there from mm -hmm. Dregs, and we've seen the Dregs press this tournament. It is very good, and now I'm after 26 minutes, I'm starting to think, Domino, are these two teams so good they're actually cancelling each other out? <laughs> Yeah, it, it, there needs to be a spark in the game. There needs to be something in it. At the minute, to be fair, Abel, it's exactly how I play a final. You don't want to be out of it within the first 20 minutes. Yep. Again, it's nil-nil. Both teams are not committing too many men. They're being more defensively sound. Pretty it's just right. who can provide that bit of quality to get a goal. Or, like we say, Abel, who isn't the unfortunate one to make the mistake. Yeah, I mean, Domino cursed it by saying it was going to be one nil pessimistic man I mean, I, mean, I, I don't mind a good one nilla like the football's classmate this for the purists this is the what thing is Dom, it's such a massive massive stage the PC dubs oh, invitational fast final one. fast one fast one the, 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 obviously the nerves are going to be there yeah, it's got to be swings mate swings it in back post he looks like he's going to keep that in well privateer keeps it in instead finds his teammate Numcha down the line their danger man their talisman Skips past egos, two of them. Mate, Here we egos, mate. Egos everywhere. Egos everywhere. <laughs> Kinley does really well. He's looked like a tidy player tonight. D. Rome does not have that kind of space. He is shut down in the box. And Nazario, again, I think that shows a bit of frustration from him as well, having to drop so deep because he wants to be getting that ball in yeah. and around the 18-yard box, in the 18-yard box. And he's about 80 yards away from goal, picking that ball up. Razgu beats his man, fishing for a penalty. Mm -hmm. Won't get it, and Dregs his turn. Basically, it's you attack, we attack. Um, four v four here. Lucky to get it back there. again, who had that quality run a few minutes ago, sets off again, taking on his opposite number. Oh, he's the hammer. Ball is be able. And there it is. Bit of redemption, but they do give the corner away for the sake of the redemption. But the thing um, is, eight ball. I think, I mean, um, instinct haven't had a corner yet, but they are very good from set pieces, defensively and offensively. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They do mark up really well, and they do, they, 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 they do the first and second ball. So I'm not, I'm not seeing them look shaky from corners once. And you've seen some good corner routines in this um, invitation, eight ball. Like I said, they do do anything, one thing perfectly. They just do everything very, very well. Yeah. Yeah, spot on. And to be fair, a lot of the teams, if they're keeping those core players, that's one of the benefits of that is you do get the the set pieces, especially defensive set pieces. Nazario, oh, well defended again by Drex. You do get those set piece routines down mm -hmm. to a T because you just know 
what your player's going to do, your core players, they know their roles, and also you know what each of them can do. Yep. Whereas if you get teams that are trying a lot of players, then that's kind of what happens. Half time. Nil nil in the final that we hyped up massively, and you said it, Domino, one for the purists. Oh, mate, I'm, I'm, I'm having a great time. I love finals anyway, it just, make, it, it just makes me nervous. I'm sweating. I'm sitting here sweating. Like, I'm, <laughs> and we're both wearing grey as well. Sweat yeah, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even like, I've lost it, like not commentating on it. Sometimes I'm hearing you in the background, I'm like, oh yeah, I've actually got a job to do here instead of actually watching the game. Because I've been sunk yeah. in with some of the play here. It's just a really interesting final. Uh, the, the, the way this line runs up, obviously, goal. silly saying, but it is a goal. It will get both teams. It will be a change of dynamics here. But it's now getting into the crux where one mistake wins it, one bit of brilliance wins the game as well. So, And you don't in, want in to that be first that half either. Ball. So I do think as the game goes on, if there's no goal, people will get more and more nervous as well. So mm -hmm. I'm not sure whose hands that plays into more because both of these teams have got killers in their attacking positions. So... Yeah, this has got 2 1 Ultra Instinct written all over it, mate. <laughs> I'll say it now. Trasgu, back post, TD Roma again, having a fantastic, probably man of the match so far um, of this final. Sol into not Alvarez, blocked by CTR, then blocked by Trey Robertson. I also do think, April, both teams got in actually really dangerous positions. I think they're trying to be too clinical, and I wouldn't say like walk the ball into the back of the net. But just looking for, they've got a 70% chance to score instead of a 90% chance to score, so they're not taking it. I do think sometimes, we've seen the rebound goals, mate. Just don't be afraid in some instance just to pull the trigger and he is offside. Mm. Yeah, yes, he is going to be mad. I know for a fact Privateer is going to be mad at himself for that one there. Because mm -hmm. they were they were in and they had men over. Um, Ultra Instinct playing out from the back from that uh, free kick from the offside. Captain Hamarovic, stand-in manager. Can he lead his team to glory? Edge of the Ooh, box, what a ball that is. EA everyone. did not want to lock that man on, and the dregs will not mind that whatsoever. TD Rome again, there he is. My man of the match so far over on this left-hand side, being solid defensively, gives yeah. him an outlet uh, going forward as well. One up really high. This is where you want that man, Nazario, on the ball. Rome doing what he does best, not giving it away. <laughs> Ten minutes gone in this first, in this second half, sorry, of the final. PC Dubs Invitational, the very first, definitely not the last. Kinley oh, passed it nice out. Inside. There. There's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a crowded so place quiet. to see that pass. Okay, I'll say it, because I always say it as a bit of a jest. Mate, Hammer is a very good player. Well, very obviously. good player. Obviously, you don't get to this stage in the PC Dubs Invitational and be an average player. All these yeah. guys are killers, uh, especially this man. Niji has been fantastic all night. They, they'll do well to keep that man quiet, actually, Domino. That numbs chair mm -hmm. up front. Very, very good play. He's already had a couple of runs in that first half. If they can keep him quiet, they'll do well. Get to 1 2 with CTR. There as well, Captain America showing his quality, and you've you've got two baller builds back there, Domino. Uh, you, you've got three defenders, and two of them got baller builds. I'm sorry, but that's a that's a good back line, and the other yeah, one's, that's, that's the other one's back Niji, line, so we'll be gunning for his baller build next as well. <laughs> yeah, we we got mates. It got me a trio. The whole the whole back three, the whole yeah. back three. Right. Someone's got to get something cooking because there's got to be a hero in this final, and who is it gonna be? That's what I mean, mate. We've got to find a winner. I'm guessing we go to penalties if there's no golden goal as well. Correct, correct, yeah. correct, correct. Niji does well again. Gives it to Sol. The ball out wide into Alvarez's feet. They just can't get things ticking with these two centre forwards. Both very good players. Just, just something missing. Just something missing. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to be too overcritical, but it's got a bit of a feeling at the minute going into the second half is both teams don't are not looking for the winner. They're just not looking to lose it, but that's some good feet inside. Every time someone goes down in the box, you get a little bit worried. That's a <laughs> deep pocket there. 
But then Excellent. I feel like that that style of that style of playing in a final suits you down to yes. the T Domo. No, that, that is me. I, I'm I'm going there. I was like, guys, we're not winning the game. We're not trying to win the game. We're not we're trying to not lose the game. That's the mentality. That's <laughs> that a is the mentality. mentality to have. Yeah, yeah, it's the Mourinho mentality. Like, if I could park the bus all day, there's a bus parked outside the front of my house, mate, for good reason. This is <laughs> it's it's the the um, the trophy bus that we never got to use for PCW Legacy. <laughs> That's it, mate. Yeah, that, that is it. That is it. Still there, mate. Uh, Nazario loses out. He's being quiet, which would probably mean he's gonna get the winner. Uh, it could be a strike partner instead. Good save by the doctor. Kept on nicely. TD Rome. Who else is it gonna be? Batman Eight defending. Ball. I think that might be our first shot of the. the I genuinely think that might be our first shot. Yeah, Yo yeah. Alvarez, who did have that shot a short while ago, into third. CTR does well. Uh, Mems is back in the chat. Good to have you back, mate. I assume we had to go get some food because <laughs> I am thinking about food right now. I'm quite hungry. Ah yeah. Uh, Mems is going to try and run his man, and he does. It's he the does. first time he's got away from Niji. It looks like he's swapped sides to try and get a bit of joy. Um, but like Raven, that. who is a very oh, wow. strong player, CDF That's... tracking back, doing what they do best. Oh, oh my! What a knockdown that is! Here we go. Not Alvarez, one on one. Man getting back, rolls it back inside. Top bins near post. Big, big finish. Massive, massive stage in the game. There's only eight minutes left. One nil. Ultra Instinct and Domino. That knockdown from the header was the gift. I don't know how that man found himself in that much space. The boys at the dregs have been so regimented in giving them zero change. All of a sudden, mate, it's a long ball up top. It was a flick down, and he had acres to run into eight ball, acres to run into, and no one was catching him. Oh, the dregs will be kicking themselves a little bit here, but can they do what Ultra Instinct have done to a lot of teams? And claw them back. Have there were some claw animations in there, Domino. And here we go. If he stayed on side here, yeah, he was in zone half eight ball. Great wow. running. <laughs> Thanks, Play Doctor. <laughs> you got the score update from Play Doctor. What a guy. <laughs> Tommy what a guy. Kade as well. Uh, three minutes left. Raven out wide swings it in, and that it's now or never for Dregs. Uh, they've matched Ultra Instinct for, for this whole game bar that, that 30 seconds. Kazu, can he make anything happen? They're sending men forward now. Got to. The center has got to go up there. You're, you're thinking about players who've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. That is Raven in a nutshell. Jeez. Fur wins it back and goes long. <laughs> Time. I thought there was wow. more time on the clock, April. I thought there was more no, time. I the thought there was a bit of time left there as well, but well, what do we know, guys? I uh, hopefully whoever's hopefully oh, that's right. Good job, that's right. Hopefully whoever's on the stream right now, or if you are speaking to someone on the stream right now, they can play us back some highlights. I appreciate there might not be a lot of highlights from that final. That was a very very Liverpool Spurs Champions League final kind of final yeah. but you can see anyone who knows ball can see how good those two teams are and that is literally what happens when you get two massive teams two teams with 11 quality players facing off against each other it's such fine margins yeah eight ball I mean they did go in the favourites and I tell you what Ultra Instinct hadn't really stepped a foot wrong throughout the whole 90 minutes in any game they played. They were they were good tactically there. They were pressed, mate, because Drake's came came up and they, they did look really good with the ball again. They were more conservative in that game. They adapted more to the Drake style of playing to dismantle them than to play their own style. But it just shows what they can do on the pitch. They, they are a very good team, but Drake's are no slouches. And I know it's not a high-scoring game for probably... The casuals, it might have been a little bit boring for me, mate. I was having a great time. I was having a great time. <laughs> I, I genuinely think that might have been the lowest scoring game in the whole tournament. Let yeah, me check. we didn't have a one nil, mate. There was no one nil. <laughs> there was not a one nil. <laughs> Saving it for the final. Here we go. Only bringing you the best. And to be fair, I mean, we we we're obviously joking. That was 
the skill that we can only dream of, Domo. There's a reason why these boys are out there. And I'm literally <laughs> We're up here, yeah. <laughs> speaking about these kinds of players. Um, I feel now the gauntlet has been laid down for PCW Invitationals and anything we've got going on on this channel going forward, which is a lot, by the way, so do stick around. These are the two types of teams that if you're coming into this, that's what you need to be working towards. How do we beat those kinds of teams? Can we bring in players like these types of teams? You know, we're, we're purposely set up for pre-season, for trialing people. It's good competitive nature. We're only kind of letting ballers in and hopefully that has shown tonight because we've had six fantastic teams in. We've managed yeah. to get across about 12 13 quality games and like we said the the lowest scoring game we had was the final which was a fantastic game anyway so mm. hats off to everyone involved and um, the admin staff behind pc oh, Dust tonight have been absolutely spot on so thank but, you very much mate. i haven't touched this i have not touched this this is all them so thank you very much for that um, and yeah, the last thank you for me before we, we touch upon kind of what we've just seen in the last two hours uh, is everyone involved, managers, players. That was the smoothest thing we've ever ran easily. Easily. We, we, we actually look, we look like an efficient channel. Like that, that was, <laughs> that, it, it looked like we knew you. what we were doing. If someone joined <laughs> in for the first time, they were like, actually, PC Dubs have got their stuff together. Like they're fair play to them. They're an established, really good channel. So, like like April said, I'm going to be honest, I have very little to do with the day-to-day -day running, the nighttime running, no any running of anything. Dom, Dom's a gun for hire. He comes up here, gets to spend time with April and watch some games. So, mate, a big shout out to those people in, obviously, our management staff and our admin staff for putting that together. Big shout out to the boys getting teams on. Mate, and even simple things, April, simple things of people lobbing up quickly, not going to quickly play a cash cup or quickly jump into an ATB <laughs> or just completely go. I'm pretty sure we had the same individual the whole time for every single game. And mm -hmm. that's, that's all you guys. Like, it, it, you guys make it. It takes one person and one weak link to kind of make everything run a little bit sloppy. The whole time, every time we clicked on a stream, we talked, a game's going live. Offset games, guys, it's been great. And a big shout out, April. A big shout out to the unsung hero of the night, in my opinion. Plague Doctor, mate. Plague, Plague Doctor. Doctor. Um, yeah, I knew you were going to say um, it. <laughs> he needs to come back for every stream. I just want to ask him questions, mate, half the time. He's going to be like our central hub of knowledge. If we don't if we don't know anything, it's like, t tell me what the weather forecast like is in is in Spain this weekend. And and he, he should be there popping up with the chat. I like him. He's easy. He's, he's, mate, he's, our, he's our Jeff Reeves, mate. He is our Jeff Reeves. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that is an open invitation, by the way, Play Dog. You come back. Uh, we're doing this every Wednesday for the next few Wednesdays. Uh, and obviously, it's an open invitation for anyone who's been in the chat tonight. Uh, team or fan or casual or Domino, he's welcome back as well. Um, like I said, we are, we are here for the next few Wednesdays, so please do get involved. Um, if you need to know anything, we are very approachable on social media. Um, but we do tend to let you know what we're up to because it's in our best interest. So of course. keep your ear to the ground for that. I'm about to go over to PayPal and pay the winners, Ultra Ooh. Instinct. Hammer. Um, I, I mean, Hammer was the manager for tonight, so I'm not sure what arrangements he's made with his team, whether or not he gets it all, but hey, that's for those guys to work out. So... Um, we'll be back same time next Wednesday. We'll probably be doing loads of things in between then, so do stick around um, and get involved with everything because all good fun. Uh, JD, thank you very much. Play Doctor, thank you very much. Anyone in the chat, Connor, uh, Redizzi as well, Captain America, Kinley, perfect timing. Kinley, I thought you were bloody brilliant tonight as well. Really, oh, really mate, well yeah. played. I, we could say that about a lot of players, but and again, another standout player there as well. Just an absolute pleasure. And there are some times, Domino, and I know we're going on an absolute rant now, which is one of our favourite things to do if you are new to the channel. Apologies. If you're old to the channel, you'll be used to it. 
there are some times where we're like clubs community please tonight has completely reset that so thank you very oh, much for, for restilling our love in the clubs community <laughs> yeah guys it's, it's been an absolute pleasure i'll always say it's not us it's you guys that come across and put on like games for us and make what games they were just echoing what eight ball said like thanks for the comments in the chat thanks for you guys on the admin team thanks to the players thanks to the owners of these teams mate it was an unbelievable night can't wait to do it again wednesday let's go let's go right we're gonna leave you with the closing screen for a little bit to try and squeeze youtube for as much money as possible <laughs> feel free to leave the stream on guys and go make yourself some tea or whatever because we'll that's be how we're paying same. hammer and <laughs> <laughs> yeah literally yeah literally uh thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for being part of it and yeah see you on the next video and or stream and or dm let's go see you later team big fan bye